What was that? I've never seen that before. Oh. Anyway, good morning. How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm here now for four days in a row. So uh, we'll have a lovely weekend together. Shall we look at today's menu? Uh, here it is. Uh, so eight o'clock, under 15 pound down, that's me. Then at nine o'clock, we've got the caravan wall hanging with Joe Carter. But in, in the, in the um, pattern, in the pattern, there's not just a wall hanging, there's also a pin cushion and a caddy. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got traditional quilting fabrics. That's bundles, lovely bundles. And then 11 o'clock, uh, due to uh, unprecedented demands, Joe Carter has brought her ballerina in lilac today. So, uh, what can I tell you? Oh, I've got lots to tell you, actually. First of all, I'll tell you how to get in touch, because that's important. What you need to do to get in touch is go to our website, because it's the best way via a web chat. Go to the uh, main page, www.certainquarter.com. Then what you do is you press on Watch Today's Show. You do have to log in at this point. Oh, you do have to log in at this point. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. You just have to fill your details in. Uh, and then see the box there, Message to Studio. You can write there. Now, you can only write up to 140 characters. At your end, you can keep writing. Uh, as much as you like, but at our end, it cuts you off after 140 uh, characters. Uh, that will go through, when you send it, send a message. It will go through to little Paul upstairs, uh, the producer, and then he will send it through to me on my iPad on the desk. Uh, while we're there, look at Products Today show. They're actually uh, from Natasha's show yesterday. In a minute, they'll all disappear. And, oh, that quilt was lovely, that Pam and Nikki Glintock uh, quilt, wasn't it? It's beautiful. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, uh, all of the items that I'm going to show you will appear to, in a minute. Those will disappear and all of my items will appear. You can click on them and pop them in your basket. Now, remember, you can pop in your basket as many times as you like. See at the top of the page there, when we're doing a live auction, what they've got... Oh, we've got the Lion Kit out. Oh, they had the Lion yesterday, didn't they? Yeah. The Lion Kit from yesterday. Click on it, pop it in your basket, check out. You can check out as many times as you like during the day. It's only one PMP of £2.95 for the 24 hours. Uh, you can also get in touch via email if you want to send any pictures in. Uh, or longer messages, uh, or anything you need an answer to, Paul will uh, forward it to the person who it's meant to go to. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Right, now, uh, we've got to spend and save day today. Now, I need to say straight away, before you get... Um, it's web purchases only. And that's not if I've got something here and you go to the web to buy it. It's only things that are available in the web shop, right? But be, I'm not selling sewing machines today. So if you want a sewing machine, you can get a sewing machine. This is, these are the deals, right? Spend and save. What you need to do is if you spend 50 pounds, you'll get five pounds off, but you do need to put the code SAVE5 in when you check out. Remember, these are only web products, nothing that's been on the telly at all. Uh, spend 75 pounds and you get seven pounds off with the code SAVE7 and spend 100 pounds or more off and you get 15 pounds off. Put the code in, save 15. All the terms and conditions are on our website. But please, please, please remember, it's nothing that I've got here today. It's just product. So, creative grids, right? If, not creative grids that I've got, but if you've always wanted a creative grid, go and buy some creative grids. You'll get your discount there. You spend and save there. Sewing machine, like I said, wadding. Anything like that that's not the most glamorous thing to buy. Uh, uh, anything, rotary cutters, Mac, rotary, anything like that. As long as they're not on the telly today, you can buy them in the web shop, and obviously they're in stock. Right, very important. You must be wondering why I've got all these bags around. It's our under £15 day, remember, and my first, it's back in stock. These sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Susie Johns, here we are. Um, Susie Johns was in uh, about a week ago, and uh, she brought her book, and there are her little tabs. They're still from when she was in. I'll just get rid of those. And... There you go. Uh, £12.99. Now, these ones will not be signed. Oh, and also, if you've bought one already and you're wondering where your signature is, I'll just show you quickly. It's not on the front page here. Susie signed it above her name on the second page. So if you bought one last week, it was signed when she was here. That was a special deal for when she was in that day. Um, £12.99. Little Paul says if you want his signature, he'll put it on. He said he's happy. I've got hundreds. If you want little Paul's name on it, just let us know when you order it, and little Paul will sign those for you. Anyway, he's got his own little fan page now, hasn't he, on, um, on the Facebook page? He's gone very quiet. No, 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 because after the picture of you with the mug at the end of the table, they're all going, ooh, yeah, you are a mug, yeah. Um, 
it's sitting there with his, on the top of the Facebook fan page, you wonder what I'm talking about, there's a new picture. They've taken the one of me and Tula and, and um, Lucy down. They put one of like Natasha and the, and the backstage gang. And little Paul is at the end table holding a mug like that. No food in the gallery or in the studio. Anyway, uh, you yeah, know, we're not allowed drinks here either, are we? Anyway, um, so uh, little Paul is at the end of the table. Somebody went, oh, who's the one at the end? He's quite cute. Someone said, that's little Paul. And they're like, oh, let's set up a, a fan page about little Paul. He's gorgeous. They have, haven't they, Mike? They have. They have, they have, they have. Anyway, this book is fabulous. It's Fat Quarters, Bags and Purses, right? By Susie Johns, who was in the other day. She was the lady with the blue hair and the pink tutu. Right, I've got nearly everything that's in this book. I've got this in the studio. Look, it's behind me. It's behind you. Uh, really lovely. Uh, we were thinking if you're getting married or something like that. If you're, now, there's this. There's this drawstring bag. Now, I'm going to have to try and find all these as we go along. Is that on the front there? Is that one, that one? There you go. Is that that one? No. Oh, I, don't where... I don't know where that one is. <laughs> I've had one day off and I've gone all do loudly. Look. It's exactly the same. It is it. It's the one from the book. All of these samples are the ones from the books. Obviously, we don't do these fabrics. These are the ones that um, Susie made for the... Um, uh, oh, I've got that, got that. Which one? Uh, my uh, my uh, director just said to me, could you move a bag, please, John? This, I'll show you this one first, and I'll move it. It's, that's a wine bag. That's a wine bag, look. Well, it wouldn't be big enough, Paul. It's only got four sections in for you. So that goes back. I'll put that there, I'll put that there. Was that the one you wanted me to move? No, it wasn't, obviously. Right, so look, 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 look. So we've got there the materials, the equipment, and the techniques and everything. Now, on the move. Now, there, there's that one, there's that one, there's that one, there's that one. Little rucksack. Look. Back in stock today, remember? Back in stock today. Sold out last week, or it was only the beginning of this week, actually. I have got that one, I've seen that one. What's the matter? Yes, yes. There's a beach bag, beach bag, beach bag. Is that that one? No. Uh, yep, got that one. Got that one, look. Aren't they gorgeous? They're all made from fat quarters, or obviously if you buy half a metre of fabric, that's two fat quarters, isn't it? That one's lovely as well, because you can add the tapes on the bottom um, uh, to put your um, yoga mat or your beach towel underneath and things. Uh, oh, there's that uh, rucksack again. Uh, there's so many. Uh, well, do you know what? Let me go through. There's that, the wine bag. There are 25 projects in here. There you go. Well, it's um, 51, 51 and a half pence each, isn't it? I've got that, got that. Oh, no, that's a passport. That's a passport cover. Look. Now, I suggested before you make this one, see how long your passport's going to last because the blue passports are different size to the, to the maroon ones. Yep. Do they make it even on the machines? On the machine, because you've got the see-through thing, you go like that. Mm. No, well, you're, that's because you look a bit dodgy. That's why they stopped you. G Ginger Mike. There you go. Look, glasses case, glasses case. There's so many projects in here, isn't it lovely? Back in stock, back in stock. Uh, I've got a compact case there. Oh, I've got that. That's your laptop bag. It's a small laptop, I said. Laptop, I said. Nice, though, isn't it? Obviously, these aren't our fabrics. These are the fabrics that Susie used to create the, the book with. We've got that one. In fact, we showed you how to do the pocket on that one, didn't we, the other day when she was in? Look. Nice, isn't it? If you've made anything from the book, let me know, let me know. Oh, now these, these are brilliant, right? These are, oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not your telly. It was just little Mike getting off the stage. Look, they're over here. Oh, I'm going to move. Are you all right for me to move? Look, look. They're, uh, they're pouches that you hang on the wall. See, and you can put things in. I said brilliant for a little girl's bedroom. Put a row of them along the wall. And then you could store all her dolls and her dolls. Um... Oh, there's that bag I couldn't find on the first page <laughs> over there. Forgotten to tongue it there. Um, Oh, now this is lovely. This is this gorgeous big bag. Look at this. Look. Yeah, that could be little Paul's sleeping bag, couldn't it? We like this. Now, the whole point of it being floppy is so that you can fold it away when you don't need, a, when you don't need it. Look at that. Fantastic, isn't it? Huge. 
Right, where we go next? I will, oh, there's the one I've already shown you. That's that one there. That's that one there. Uh, what else have I got here? What else have I got here? Oh, the, that's this one. That's this one. This is lovely, isn't it? This is the one we showed on the show the other day, wasn't it? Look. Obviously, these are not our fabrics. These are the fabrics that um, Susie used to create the book with. Susie's an artist, if you didn't know, a fine artist. She trained. Look, there's that. What, there's the swimming bag up on the up on the wall over there. There's the little fox. I don't know what I did with the little fox. Oh, there it is. There it is. So I've got the fox one here. It's got. A, it's a sheep. Oh, when, he, when it opens its, its its nose, it's a sheep, isn't it? Anyway, that's going down there. Um, and then that wash bag is over there. There you go. And then this bag here is this one, look. Gorgeous, isn't there? So many projects in here. These are all the children's bags that she's done. There's the wash bag. Uh, this is her only bag, but this is her only book that she's done bags on. Toy sack, we didn't have that one with us. Oh, that's nice. This is lovely. Like Hannah's going to make this when she goes out to the, um, what's that place she goes to? Is it called Magic Door? No. Yeah, look, there. Nice, isn't it? Um, I, I, have I missed the compact? I think I've missed the compact in here. There's a comp... Oh, now, that's lovely. That's a little a makeup bag. Or as I said for you ladies who... When you've got your handbag and you've got kids around, you've got little private things you don't want them to see, you just pop them... Like, you pop them in the bottom of your bag in that and then they're not going to go rummaging, are they? Do you know what I mean? Um, where's the... Oh, there it is! Lots of new buyers come. Remember, if you're a new buyer, oh, where's the pair of scissors? Oh, they're there. I'll show you in a minute. If you're a new buyer, you're, um, you get a free pair of scissors as your gift today. Look, you don't obviously get the compact, but look, isn't that lovely? Old fashioned compact going in there. Beautiful, isn't it? Put that there. Um, I've got something else. What else have I got here? Oh, there, there's that one. What did she say that one was for? Well, that's a little mirror, a little mirror bag. It's lovely, isn't it? So many ideas. All my, you didn't see that, why not? I did. There you go. Uh, so many projects I've missed. Oh, now these, well, that's there. That, that little one's there. That's a drawstring bag. I don't know what's in that. Oh, look, a mirror. Oh, let's see if we can see. Where's, where am I looking at? That's the table. I can't, I'm trying to get Mike, the cameraman, but for some reason I can't get him there. Never mind, never mind. He's in, he's in um, camouflage today. Is it Friday? Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. That's, uh, uh, the picture that you didn't pin up. And then this is here, this lovely little... Now, um, Vicky had these uh, on the eight-hour day, didn't she? These lovely clasps and everything. For you to be able to make bags like that. OK. And then, uh, what I was going to show you... Well, I've missed this one out. This is like a little org... Oh, this one's for when you take your dog for a walk. You put the lead and everything like that inside. Don't put the dog in there, no. And then, you see, you then fold it up like that, and you can carry all the, all the bits and bobs, like the plastic bags and everything like that you need to. And then, these are what I was going to show you. These are party bags. You know when you have a, a child's um, party, and they all go home with goodie bags at the end? You put all your initials. There's Ginger Mike's there. There's mine next to it. I don't think she made one for you, Paul. Um, v, J, L, C, N, N. No, V, did I not? F H J L M C S N V. It's a V. There it is. Yeah. Right, that, that book is $12.99. $12.99. Back in stock, back in stock. Loads of new buyers coming in for that. Well done. I did sell out last time. Hundreds of them sold. About a week, a week ago, uh, hundreds sold out. $12.99. Now, new buyers, new buyers, remember, it's not yours until you've checked out your basket. What I'll do is I'll keep the book with me over there. And then, because um, Chris has got to come and tidy all this up and put something else on here, hasn't he? Come with me. Come with me and you'll see a world of imagination. Right, uh, just so you know what's behind me. This is the caravan um, wall hanging that Joe is making later. 
Cute, isn't it? It's a, it's a fat quarter, there's a fat quarter bundle, and then you buy the other fabric separately. I'll tell you all about that. And that's in nine o'clock. And then in her 11 o'clock, she's making the lilac ballerina. Uh, and then I've also got this template to do an embroidery, and I've got the, the template to make those ballet shoes. And the, not, not the bag, just the ballet shoes on the front, the applique on the front. Okay, Helen, hello, ladies. No, that must be from yesterday, because there's no ladies here today. What does that mean? Okay, bundles first then. I don't know if it's, does this shirt look nice on telly? It used to be, the, oh, I've had compliments already, have I? Okay, uh, only, only because it's a very, very old shirt and the background used to be like a solid jet black uh, and it's kind of washed out linen now. Right, okay, so here we go, this bundle first. Joanne, morning to you all. Love your shirt, John. Just bought the Fat Quarter book. Tried to get it last time, but it sold out. You all cheer me up on a great day. Joanne, it's going to be a beautiful day today. Where are you? Derbyshire, it's going to be a lovely day today, apparently. It's going to be wet at the weekend, but it's going to be nice today. Right, here we go. Lorraine, morning. Very tropical shirt. Can you wish happy Steve? Oh, yes, yeah, Steve and Lorraine. Been married 44 years this year, right? She's only 61. She was a child bride. I know. That's crazy, Lorraine. You know, crazy Lorraine. And Steve has not been very well, but, but all the tests came back fine, so he's all right. Uh, Sunshine Spectrum, this one's called. You get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. Eileen, morning, John. Winter's still here, wet and windy in Northern Ireland. Oh, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Stay in for four hours then. Don't go out, you don't need to go out, you don't need to go out. Stay in and look at my sunshine bundle. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> Good morning, bought the book and I love it. So clear and easy to understand. See, that's Michelle in Kent, already got the book. So make sure you get it. If you haven't already got it, make sure you get it. Now I've got Linchet. Nah. Jeanette, morning, John. Love the shirt. Thank you, Jeanette, my love. Lynn said, morning, John. Love, oh, there you go, you like him, my shirt. Oh, that's good then. Looking forward to the next four days. Oh, I'm here for four days, aren't I? Uh, me and Joe today, me and Janice tomorrow and Sunday, and me, oh, and a new guest on Monday. New guest on Monday, one of my neighbours, actually. Uh, so I've got red, orange, and yellow here. Bright red, bright orange, and yellow. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, perfect for your stash. Perfect you're going to make some of the bags from Susie's book, because she used lovely, lovely bright colours. They're all spectrum solids. They're all fantastic for your, um, I know, it's 20 past already. Vintage, is it next? Oh, what do you want? Oh, that's got threads, does it, to go with it? Which one? Mm. Well, it's got yellow. There you go. I'll just show you the threads on top first. Oh, you got an image, there you go. Got an image of them. So you get the threads. You get blue. You get a you get sunshiny yellow. You get a lemony yellow. You get a uh, flame. And you get a pale pink. Oh, is that wrong? What numbers are you supposed to have? Tell me what numbers I'm supposed to have. Wait a moment, three, six, four. Oh, it's like chess, this. No, I've not got that one. Got 417. Well, no, it might be one of these. What number was it? So what you get is, you, uh, what was the missing number? 351. That's here, that's here. They've just, yeah, they've got mugged up. 417, 351. 336. Yeah, 336 is there. And 316 is that one. There's one missing one. That's supposed to be five. Right. Sorry about this, everyone at home. We've just got to get it right. 364. That's it. That's it. That's it. So that's, I'll move those around in a minute. You got the, it was just slightly moved around on the table. That was all. So there you go. That's your bundle there. Oh, yeah, and I can see now that they go. When Little Bull said they go, and I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, we were looking at different pictures. Right, pastel bundle now, pastel bundle. Well, vintage, I thought they normally called this one. But here we go, pastel. So you get pale pink, pale blue and grey. 949, one and a half metres. All spectrum solids. Gorgeous, aren't they? 
Lovely soft tones there. So half a metre of each of the fabric, 100% cotton, machine washable, by Macawa, spectrum solids, perfect for quilting, perfect for dressmaking, half a metre of each, nine pounds and 49 pence. What colours do you get there then, little Paul? No. Mercury is the grey, vintage blue and vintage pink. So it's, that's what I say it's normally called vintage. Got some threads to go with. I think these will be correct. Now we've moved those two around. So, no, I think it's just they must have got mudded up on the table, mustn't they? So, we have got 660, 196, 152, 158, and 852. Beautiful, aren't they? Five Gutemann, so all threads there for £8.99. How do you know which one that is? What, this? £8.99. Says a lot about you if that's your favourite colour when you were a child. Oh, every time you laugh, that camera wobbles, just so you know. We'll have to, can we get that floor sorted or get a, a, a smaller cameraman? Thank you. Imagine if Jesse came as camera, blimey. Right, okay, that's, that's my pastel. He did the other day, he was on, he was on, on the eight-hour day, wasn't he, for a little while? Uh, now I've got this one. I didn't know he had a daughter. I thought he was just a young lad. The grey and blue fabric bundle. Oh, is it today's birthday? Ah, Grey and blue fabric bundle. That's um, imaginatively named, isn't it, that one? Pearl blue. Oh, glacier grey again. No, hang on. Say those again. That's not right, what you just said. Glacier grey and mercury are these two. That's not pearl blue. What's the picture of? What's the picture? Oh. So which one will they get at home? OK, that's fine. Um, but we need to check this then. It should be dark blue, not pearl blue, that's all. Well, just double check, because I want you to make sure at home you get the right one. Because if you get, if you get uh, pearl grey, then it's, you'll get three greys the same, won't you? We're just doubling checking. Let's do the threads. It's obviously meant to be the dark one, because look at the threads to match. So you get the dark blue, the very dark blue, the silver grey, the cream and the white. $8.99. Oh, you do get navy. You do get navy in the other bundle. Eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five uh, essential gutemans there. Eight ninety-nine. Well done. Right. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, bundles of needles here. You just get three. I thought you got four, but you get three packets. Uh, three packets. These are like the tiny, they're called quilter's needles. They're tiny, tiny, tiny needles. Um, I'll show you the packet in a second, but you get, you get all three of these. So you get the uh, 23, 20, 23, and 26 millimeter mixed. Uh, they're the fine and extra fine mixed. You get the 26 millimeters extra fine, and you get the 23 millimeters extra fine. And this is how they, that's, so that's how they'll arrive, 12 19. You get all of those for 12 99. Um, no, you get fine and extra fine in this one, in the white one, and then the other two you get extra fine on their own. Look, here, look, the quilty needles. That, that, if you, if you uh, know about saying they're betweens, really, look, watch. So what happens is this little magnetic thing in there. So you take it out, you, look, see, they're very, very short. Really, really short hand quilted needles. $12.99. They're brilliant, aren't they? So they're not going to fall out anyway. If, you, if you've got them out and you're working on them and, you, and, you, and you, it falls over, the needles don't go everywhere. Look, the, the top might, but the needles don't go anywhere at all. 
Brilliant. So you get all three of those for £12.99. Uh, very popular, very, very popular. Now, if you're a new buyer, remember, you do get a free gift. You do get a free gift. I just need to point out, this here is only for web. It's not here on the telly. It's only on the web, just so you know. Spend and save today until 8 o'clock tomorrow. It's web product only, just so you know. They should have put web product only bigger, shouldn't they? Because then, then with people would have known how. Anyway, if you're a new buyer and you spend um, 10 pounds or over, you don't have to do anything. You just automatically get these scissors as a gift. Okay, got a few books here for you to see now. Let me move. Got Premier, 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 Premier. It's a right, little Paul's called it a stocking filler because he thinks Christmas is in July. He's got very confused. Hello, sewing. That's what it's called. Simple makes that are just so. Four ninety nine. Brand spanking new today. Look now. Lovely little gift. I'd get this and have it in the um, present cupboard, so you've got it ready for somebody who might want it. Lovely little projects look going on in here. Right, let me put my glasses on. It's only a little book. Little Paul says that's like the story of his life. Uh, stitches. Uh, how to use elastic. Very, very lovely set. Very good for a beginner, look. Construction techniques. Making a narrow strap. Then what happens is after all the techniques, those are the zips, everything, they've all got the beige or sandy coloured background. Then we move into working with patterns. So it's telling you all about placing patterns on fabrics. And there you go. And now we're into projects. Look, so that's a button flap skirt. There's your pattern. So it's basically showing you how to cut their own, your own pattern. Snazzy shopping bag. And there's the pattern for that. And then we've got the ruffled collar pattern. There you go. Lace bow blouse. She's looking out, she's looking out the window going, she's, got, she's thinking, she's going, I wonder where my skirt went. That's what she's thinking. She's got her pants on and she's got a top on, but she's got no skirt on. There you go, now she's happy. She has cute culottes. She's not inside, is she? And she's inside the garage. No, it's a pavement, she's outside. That's a pavement. I think it might be a set. It's definitely a pavement and it's definitely an outside wall, but then it's got kind of a bit of like a pillowcase pinned on the wall. Does it explain the picture? I don't know, you can have a look when you get it home. She's been oh, look, princess collar. And the pattern. Then you've got the little summer dress. <laughs> she's waiting for a bus. Look, she's got a little case. <laughs> oh! We're not like a bikini. Moving on. She's got a slinky, strapless dress. Well, it's the same pavement outside, look. She's outside now, going on holidays. Shoulder bag. Oh, what's that one? Rosette belt. Lots of patterns in there, isn't there? What's that one called? Silky skirt. And then last but not least, table mat. Nice, isn't it? All that. Lena Santana has done that book. Easy projects for beginners. Four ninety nine. Oh, we missed those two out. We didn't see that one and that one, did we? We didn't see that one and that one. No, we didn't see those. We saw that door. We saw that door. Anyway, we move on. Oh, right. Okay. Right. What's next? Oh, the dark blue in the in the um, thing is called is navy. You're getting navy. Magnetic pink cushion. Right, if you like Janice. Oh, now, do you see Janice's boyfriend? Um, he's had a new shoulder, hasn't he, this week? 
No, no, he's had to have the shoulder replaced. And he put a picture, he sent me a picture the other night. Oh, no. Anyway, if you can have your shoulder replaced, same as you can have your hip replaced. Yeah. Shoulder, hip, knee, elbow. Oh, I, oh, I couldn't see that. I did that little dance. Uh, anyway, drop your pins. No problem, madam. Prim magnetic pin cushion, 449. Now, um, I used one of these the other day. And I said, oh, those pins are up. She went, it's, she brought it in from home. She had this one. Who was that? Was, who was it? Who was it? Jeffrey who? Jennifer Taylor. Was it Jennifer Taylor, was it? She brought her own pincushion. Oh, well, she nicked it from the warehouse in the first place. <laughs> um, this is a magnetic pincushion. Um, you can use it for uh, paper clips, you can use it for safety pins, you can use it for drawing pins, anything that's magnetic. Uh, you could use it for nuts and bolts if you want. Um, it's just ideal, isn't it? And it's just fantastic. Because the other thing is, when you're doing a fitting or, or you're pinning something, and instead of putting the pins in your mouth, you just throw them in the direction of this. No, no, because you could throw them like, so if you're doing the fitting here, and then you go, oh, see? Can you just get that, just get that? Oh, oh, you do have to throw it in the direction of the pin cushion. Now, Janice, when Janice sews at home, right, she's got carpet where she sews, then poor old Martin comes home, and there's pins all over the place. She just goes round like this. Going round like that. He's much younger than Janice, just so you know. I oh, know. £4.49. pence. At four pounds and forty pence. Don't use it as a like. What does JJ do? What's the thing he does? Beep, 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 beep. Don't do it as metal detector. It's taking too long because it doesn't beep. Four pounds and well, no, he spent hundreds of pounds on his metal detector and he still doesn't work out, does it? All the metal, all the metal detector. Right. Morning, John. Love your shirt. Thank you, Mary, my love. Fat quarters. I know it's one of my oldest shirts. I've got it when, when I still live in Norway. And little, oh, little Paul said he said it was nice first. But thank you. Right, fat quarters. So easy, floral and dots. Well, there's the floral. There's the dots. There's the dots. There's the floral. There's the dots. There's the floral. 14 pounds and 99 pence, 100% cotton. What make are these? I don't want to open them. What make are these, little Paul? Oh, so easy. They're so easy. It says on there. So easy. So easy. Fourteen ninety-nine. Fourteen ninety-nine. Oh, okay. Show, show, show the behind me again. Show behind me again. Somebody's just asked what this is, right? Somebody's just tuned in. I've been here for thirty-four minutes. Why have you not been watching already? Uh, you can go to the web. You can, nothing that I've got on the telly during the day, it's on the web page. Now, before we go to the web page, just remember this, right? So spend... No, 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 stay on that, stay on that. Spend £50, you get £5 off, but you need to put save five in. You spend £75, get £7 off uh, by putting the code save seven in. And spend £100, you get £15 off with save 15. So what you need to do is if you go to the website, nothing that I've got here, go to the web shop... Sewing machines, creative crids, uh, wadding, any of it, right? Because now, it's what, I need to tell you something quickly. I need to tell you something quickly. It's one, per, one go per person and one checkout with the code. So what you need to do is if you go to the web shop, don't be doing, I'll have that, come back and do something later. Do it in one go. Do it in one go. Because because you can check the, the TV ones are, are def different, but this, uh, this one, you need to check this one out separately on its own. I know you can only do it once, so don't be thinking, oh, I'll come in and get something later. It's a one-off, one person, one go at the code, that's it. Right, um, so, go to the example, go to the website, go to the shop, go to sewing machines. There they all are, click on those. So, obviously, they're over £100, so you put in the save 15, and you'll get your, your £15 off. There's the 680, back in stock. Oh, no, we've only got a few of those. And it's not our fault, it's Elna. We sold so many of them. So they've done us a small batch available, but there's not very many available. Right. 
Oh, flexi curvy ruler. So what it says on the tin is it's a flexi ruler. And you get inches on one side and centimeters on the other side. Uh, very good for dressmaking when you're doing curved seams. Very good for drawing a hip line. Very good for drawing an armhole line. Uh, very good for doing anything with a slight curve on it. See, oh, I'll do it that way. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're not supposed to see me. Because I was going to be topless. Like, remember on Opportunity Knocks, the man used to go, do, 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 do. And then he turned around and they go, do, 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 do. Anyway, 9.50. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> I haven't been to the gym for a while. Nine pounds or 50 pence. I keep paying my 60 pounds a month. And do I go? No. Oh, no. Just gone up. But you do get discount on the hotel. I'm not doing a sell for my gym, but... But you do get discount in the, if you go to the restaurant, because it's attached to a very posh um, hotel. So you go to the restaurant, get free meals. You can use the um, beauty spa and all that. Anyway, nine pounds and 50 pence. I don't, obviously. And you get discount on rooms. But why would I stay? Because it's only five minutes down the road. Da -da -da. Nine pound 50. Oh no, can I do this first? Can I, I need to do this first because there's been a lot about cross stitching on the show recently, hasn't there? Uh, this book is, Brilliant. Actually, I was meant to have a cross-stitching show myself soon. I wonder when that's going to happen. Anyway, this book, I've had this book before. It's fantastic. There are a thousand cross-stitch motifs by Jan Eaton. Look at the price, 9 99 right? But look at this, right? So it goes through every... Uh, lots of instructions at the beginning, obviously. Oh. There's all sorts of things going on today. Look, you see, so these are all the techniques, all the different stitches you need to know in the book here. So if, like me, if you didn't know about cross-stitching, and like me, they've just had the cross-stitching shows where they actually um, had the aiders and everything like that, patterns and everything, this is brilliant because this is the pattern library. It's where you count. It's where you count the stitches. So if you would just want to do one of these flowers, what you do is you count how many squares it is, and then you just do as many cross-stitches as it says going across there. Then you start again, and you just divide, I think it's at tens, isn't it, they, they um, divide them up into. But look, these are fantastic, because you get your traditional flowers. Remember, there's a thousand different motifs in here. Bouquets, bigger patterns, look, borders, forget-me-nots. Oh, I love this book, because look, oh, look, that's like the fabric we had the other day. Do you remember the cottage fab, the houses in a row and everything? I love these. Imagine, oh look, more houses. Love. Look. Look at the dogs facing away from you. I, I haven't shown you this since last summer. Yeah, with me. Look. <laughs> It's got, I mean, I, I, the thing is, right, I love this book so much, right? Let me keep going, keep going, look, because you've got fruits. I just think it's brilliant. Look, peas in a pod, turnips. Are, are they, what are these ones here? What's that called there? That's, no, that's a carrot. It looks like a sweet potato, but, but I don't know, does it have greenery on the top of sweet potato? What's that? Is that spring onion? Leek, it's a leek. Well, it's the same family, isn't it? Right, okay, I've got to get on, look. But look, 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 look. Kettles, sunshine. Little animals, look, ladybirds. Is, oh, now, Vict Victoria Pete. Victoria Pete did um, a bumblebee the other day on that apron, didn't she? But look, 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 look. Parrots, butterflies, toucans, trees. Um, squirrels? Oh, no, Luna will be going crazy. Squirrels? Uh, anyway, look, look, pigs, cows. I love it, but wait till you get away. The thing is, I don't, look. I don't want to miss out on anything, because look, 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 because in a minute, Christmas, I'll, I'll scan past Christmas, Valentine's Day, just missed that, haven't we? Uh, daffodils, Easter, Easter, weddings. Look, Gerardine, maybe you could do that or not. Gerardine is making all the uh, table linen for Amy and Adam's wedding. Maybe she could do that. Uh, anyway, look, 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 I've got borders um, around the world. Elephant. Right, but look, 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 I, I, I'm going to, look, very Greek, that, isn't it? 
I'm sorry, but I get very excited. Alligators, turtles, faces. That's like an Enderbelly village, isn't it? Yeah, it's right at the Enderbelly village, isn't it? I, I've got pictures of me at the Enderbelly village. The trouble is, we, me and Marge drove all the way to the Enderbelly village when I was there doing filming with Michael Douglas and Val Kilmer. And I kept saying, oh, I don't feel very well. And I drove for hours and hours and hours on end to get there. Came all the way back. I got tick bite fever. I was really poorly. Anyway, I've got to get to the... Look, you see this? I, I could go on and go on and go on. More flowers, more borders. But I need to get to... Look, aren't they cute? Right, but... Yingy, oh! Right, loads. Look! Sports. Rugby. We've got rugby. You've got cricket. Uh, oh, I don't know. What, what's the difference between that one and that one? Oh, no, it's American football. Just thought you had big hair. Uh, tennis. Skiing. He's on a ski, skiing. And then, so now, I don't know if that's meant to be a boy or a girl. Are these boys or girls? No, these are boys, look. That, I've, I've not seen a swimsuit like that for years. But, uh, look, now we're all in boys still, look. Oh. I'm tired to <laughs> can't show nipples this time of day. Boxing. What's that one? Uh, hockey. Oh, now, Chris looked like that. He goes to ice hockey, doesn't he? Anyway, look, 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 look. Oh, no, here's the ladies. Look, female astronaut. I'm not quite a florist and an artist. Office. Oh, man office, lady office. Cook. Oh, I just think, look, look, look. <laughs> now, that's what little Mike, remember saying little Mike's in his camouflage? That's what he looks like today. Gardener. I love it. Look, look. And then you've got all your haberdashery. You just missed the ice hockey player. I'm not surprised, people. Look. Oh, let's just drop everything on the floor, shall we? Uh, be oh, oh! Oh. Look at all the different people. Aren't they? Look, look. I mean, I'm thinking. Oh, look. Oh yeah, look at him. What are you looking at? That looks like that looks like you know that ginger Mike upstairs pumpkin. That's what he looks like. He's always got. It, he's seen something. I'm having that. I'm having that. Oh, there's cakes today because um, people are leaving today. Yeah. Downstairs on my desk, not my desk. There's desk next to me. There's, there's not enough to go round though, little Paul. You might not get one. Look. Oh, oh, look. That's like that quilt we did, isn't it? The Liberty quilt we did. I'm sorry, I've been on this book for far too long. I've been told off. But I'm, I haven't finished. Look, there's still more. I don't know what they are. That a cockatoo. Alphabet. Look, and look at all the different alphabet fonts there are. Oh, I think that book is brilliant. I'm sorry. 9.99. Uh, it's not been on since July with me. Easy to follow charts and everything. It's just. Brilliant. I love that. Even if you're not going to do any cross-stitch, I love that book just to look at. That's made me happy, that book has. Lovely designs, 9 99 But I will stop talking about it now, because I'm, I'm being told off for talking too much. Oh, look. I think they're brilliant. I love that. Right. Right, now, remember the book I had earlier? This is the Susie, this is the Susie Johns book that I had earlier. We've only had it on once. We sold hundreds. Just come back in stock now, $12.99. Now, the same company, the same printer, or the same publisher, that's the word I'm looking for, use different designers to do very, very, very similar books. Because remember when we had um, uh, Jemima Schley on her books look like that? Well, look at these, right? It's not the same book. It's not the same book. This one is the Juliet Borden and Amanda Russell. Fat quarters, quick makes. You see what I mean? So I don't want you to get confused. I don't want you to get confused. That one there is the Susie Johns book, Bags and Purses from Fat Quarters. This one is quick makes. This is very limited, this one. Oh, we've got that. Somebody said yesterday they found that on the shelves yesterday. I went, oh, I don't remember doing this cat. Strawberry. Badges. All little quick makes you can make from Fat Quarters. There it is, the cat cushion. Bunting. Fabric flares. Oh, there's another passport cover. They're all doing competition with each other now. 
makeup bag. It's cute, isn't it? But that one's very, very, very limited, that one. Okay. I've only got those. Okay, 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 okay. Iris, fat quarters. Now, I need to tell you, these are very... Oh, I can show you one, actually. I can show one. These, these always sell very, very fast, but they're very good for crafting or for making twirls and things like that. The fabric is thinner than our normal fabric, but just so you know. Okay. Well, I had 20 to start with, five have gone already. Right, so this is the, the yet white in both of them, just so you can see. It is a fine, because you see, it is a, like a, it's not a muslin, but it's just one up from a muslin. But look at the price, 9.99. 9.99. So you get in this one in Irish, you get uh, teal, navy, purple, crushed blueberry, grey. Uh, no, that's baby blue. What would you say that one was there? Air Force blue, baby blue, and white. 9.99. And now I've got more of these. This is rose. So what? Oh, now, did he not change name the other day? Or was it still Rose? I oh, still Rose. Uh, they've, they've got some name different things. What it is, is you get four of the bright pink rose colours, and then you get four of the, like, uh, coffee and um, coffee and cream ones. 9.99. Always very, very popular, these. I'll just fold that one up. There you go. There's all eight that you get there. $9.99. They're 54. You remember, a, a fat quarter is where they take a metre and they cut it in half and they cut it in half again to make four pieces. 54 centimetres by 45 centimetres. What I need to do is I need to do Trev... Is he called Trevor, Hannah's boyfriend? Only because it, it can be used in... It can be used in, the ne in Joe's next hour, that's all. Right, OK. Or I could save it for the next hour. It's up to you. OK, when, uh, Trevor, right? We call him Trevor. We don't know if his name is really Trevor. Um, Hannah, producer Hannah, wants him as her boyfriend. Well, he's not very really happy. Smouldering. He's smouldering, isn't he? At rugby shirt. I don't think he's playing it. I think he wears it for casual at the weekends. But anyway, it's Visaline. Stitch and tear, bit of a tear away. Two pounds and 99 pence. I'm only checking, this is basically a stabiliser, which you then tear away afterwards. Um, I don't know if Joel gets to showing you how to use it, but in her next hour's project, you can use this, that's all. Two ninety-nine. always good to have in your stash. 90 centimetres by 36 centimetres for two pounds and 99 pence. It's like a stabiliser when you do embroidery or stitching and then you just want to get rid of it afterwards. You know, you can get tear away, wash away. Say that what? I haven't. No. Uh, uh, Chris, have you got some insult bright there? Got a couple of... Um, these are perfect for gifts as well, aren't they? This is lovely, isn't it? Four and a half by four and a half inches, nine ninety nine. Creative grids, non-slip squares. Four and a half by four and a half, nine pounds and nine ten pence. Now, it doesn't matter if you buy a huge one or a small one, you get the same things. You get the little um, grippy bits, uh, so it's not going to move and you're cutting it. Brilliant for cutting corners, brilliant for squaring off blocks, brilliant for cutting like half square triangles and things like that, isn't it? You've got lots and lots of cutting. Nine ninety nine. Then I've got one slightly bigger. Uh, have I not got the insole bright then? Oh, it's coming. Remember, we sell insole bright now by the half meter. It doesn't come in a packet anymore. It comes by the half meter now. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, I've still got about six minutes. I'm fine. Is it not six? OK? Frey, check now. Little Paul wants to do this because uh, you won't get this one. This one's been... This has been to Paul's mum. This has been to Paul's mum. 
basically, Amanda, always, Amanda Wyatt always shows it. When you do an overlocking at the end, you just want to put a little dab on a stitch to just to, so it finished off. That little Paul's mum had a carpet, uh, and then she cut a square in it to put a, you know, like a, a rug to wipe your feet in when you come. So where she cut the carpet out, it was all fraying. So she just put little drops of this on, and it works brilliantly. Works brilliantly. This will last you for a long time. Do you think five pounds and forty nine pence? Also, if you want to put it on the edge of some raw edge of your fabric, or you know, when you're doing your aiders, I was watching. Um, I was watching uh, Lucy the other day doing it, and she said, "Oh, it gets a bit because you're manhandling it all the time. Put a bit of that around the edge, and it's going to stop it from fraying, isn't it?" It is brilliant. Five pounds and forty-nine pence. Lasts for ages. Check out your baskets. Right, Inselbright. We used to sell Inselbright in a bag. Well, I had this, I had this the other day. And we sold hundreds of hundreds of meters the other day. Um, we used to sell it by the half meter or by the meter. No, by the half meter in a bag, right? So each bag had half meter in it. And people were like going, "Well, I've got to buy ten bags. I'd rather buy it by the half meter." So we now sell it by the half meter. Oh, right. If you want this, you're gonna have to be quick. I've only got five meters left. I only got five meters left. What it is, it's like, um, it's like a, a, an interfacing that's got metallic in it. So, it, um, so if you're going to make oven gloves, if you're going to make um, coasters, a table runner, and you don't want the table to get marked by the heat, you put this inside it and it absorbs the heat. You see what I mean? It's got a metallic uh, inside. But it can also work the other way around. It also do cold. And what happens is, is when you get it, you will get one of these photocopied sheets with it which gives you all ideas of what you can use it for. And how to make a pair of oven gloves. And it's machine washable and you can iron it. It's just brilliant. It's very, very clever. You can, you can um, machine stitch it. You can do all sorts with it. It's absolutely brilliant. But we sell it by the half meter. So it's £3.49. But and however many units you buy, it will come in that amount. So if, you, if somebody's bought five meters, it will have gone. But do you know what I mean? So if you want that, I've only got five meters. What should I say next? OK, my ironing board, I shouldn't say this, came with one of these automatically. Uh, but that shows how good it is because the ironing board, my ironing board doesn't have a grill at the end to put the iron down on. So you need one of these. It's silicon, 5 99 silicon. What you can do is you can rest your iron on there. So if you're ironing on your table and you've got an ironing mat on your table, rest your iron on here and it's going to... And also, you see the nodules there. If you've got steam on your iron, you put it down. If you imagine if you put steam down on a... If you would put steam down on that side, right, all the steam would be spilling everywhere, wouldn't it? Whereas on this side, you've got your nodules, so the steam is going to be able to escape, isn't it? I know it's not a particularly pretty thing to buy. It's not a particularly attractive, but it does the job. It absolutely does the job. Five pounds and 99 pence. It's silicon. So it's like, remember the little hand things? We, we, you, they were made of silicon, I think. I know, five nine times. It's brilliant just to have on the end of your ironing board, because mine, like I say, my ironing board, I've got a great big ironing board like that. It's got no, you know at the end, the iron's not on, is it? You know at the end, where there's normally the metal thing, mine hasn't got that. Oh, what did they make yesterday? He's, and I'll tell Chris afterwards. Anyway, look, if you just put that down, this one's not on, obviously. You see what I mean? So if you've left your steam on, the steam's going to be able to escape from there, isn't it? Totally. But you can leave it like this as well. Just for the resting in between. And then at night time, you could just leave it like that on there if you wanted to. Take the water out first. Always empty your iron of water after you finish with it. OK, 5 99 that. Not well today. Oh, you are sewing quarter and chicken soup for the soul. Your dance made me laugh. Oh, did I dance? Oh, my muscle man, my muscle man. I've no name for that one. I don't do that once, but um, my pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, I've got time to do one more thing. What am I doing? This. This is brilliant. Now, I don't know if I've, have I got one of these out, Chris, or not? OK, this, I, I, Chris, you see, what you can do is this is magnetic, right? So if you put this on your sewing machine, Oh, actually, just pass me that sewing machine very, very quickly. I'll be with you in one second. Oh. Right, so what you do is you see this is a magnet here. You put this with this edge 
on here like this, because it, it, it's a magnet, it sticks there. It, it, if you place it, if you want to stitch an inch away from the line before, you put this onto your machine here and at, at the space where you want, and then you, you, you put the edge of the fabric or the line that you've just sewn along there. And that becomes, but then if you then want to, like you could put it like there for half an inch or something like that. No, it's fine because I've nearly finished now, it's good. Oh, actually, that one's sticking. <laughs> so strong, that one's sticking already. So it sticks to your machine, and you can just guide if you're doing quilting or if you're doing um, uh, uh, hem allowance, seam allowance, you can put it at 5 eighths and then run the edge of the fabric along that, which is 5 eighths of an inch away from you. The which one? Okay, I've only got, I haven't got a glue stick in its packet because it comes with a refiller. It comes with a refill. Okay, uh, it's not uh, 5 .99. It does come with a refill. This is how yours will look when it arrives. Thank you, Christopher. 5 .99. Thank you. Uh, book is back in stock. Susie John. Fat quarters, bags and purses, back in stock. Sold out hundreds the other day. We've got more in. Yours won't be signed today. Mm -hmm. Because they're going for a walk. That's the dog bag. Two dogs wanted to go for a walk. Arthur Brack, Joe Carter, doing... Now, you've seen... It's the pattern with the caravan. You've seen it before. But it's got a wall hanging, too. Joe Carter will be here straight after the break to show you how to make that. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. We have a very special deal for you today. For one day only, we'll be offering you a huge spend and save discount. When you spend £50, you will receive £5 off. When you spend £75, you'll receive £7 off. And when you spend over £100, you'll get an amazing £15 off. So, whether you need to add some more fabulous fabric to your stash or just want to stock up on scissors and thread, make sure you take advantage of this incredible deal while it lasts. But hurry, this deal is only valid for 24 hours and will end at 8am on the 7th of April. For full terms and conditions, please visit the Sewing Quarter website. Happy shopping! Hi, I'm Victoria Pete, and here are my top tips. My first tip is when dressmaking is to wash your fabrics. As soon as you get home or as soon as it arrives in the post, stick it in the wash. Wash it as you would do with the finished garment. Get it ready so that when you're ready to sew, you're ready to go. My next tip is posture. When you're sitting at your sewing machine, particularly when you're doing something like quilting, pay attention to how you're sitting in the chair, because quite often when you're really concentrating on quilting, you have a tendency to hunch, and before you know it, you'll end up with a bad back. So my last tip is to not sew when you're tired. So many times I've sewn when I'm tired and I make mistakes, and you find yourself unpicking or wasting fabric. Sew when you're nice, ready and fresh. Tune in on Monday the 9th of April when we're joined by brand new designer Julia Fallon. Julia is a dressmaker who creates her own patterns. With over 40 years of sewing experience, she now also runs craft workshops in her design studio. She will first be demonstrating her Bianca Cotigan at 9am. With its waterfall front, this comfortable wool jacket is a stylish must-have look to add to your wardrobe. At 11am, Julia will be showing us her Julia t-shirt. This boxy jersey top has two neckline choices and promises to be both simple and sophisticated. So tune in to meet Julia at 9am and 11am on Monday the 9th of April, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Skies Channel 678. Tune in on Wednesday the 11th of April when we are joined by the fabulously talented Lucy Brennan. Lucy will be showing us how to make a beautiful compass quilt designed by Joe Avery. This colourful quilt uses foundation paper piecing to create a kaleidoscope of colourful curves in bright solid and pattern colours. With colours of pink, orange, yellow and green, this quilt will be the centrepiece of any room. So join us and find out Lucy's quilting tips and tricks to create your very own compass quilt on Wednesday the 11th of April at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678.
Now, remember, it's a spend and save day today until tomorrow morning, which is Saturday morning at 8... Yeah, Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. We've got this spend and save. Now, remember, it's web product only. Nothing that we've got on the telly today uh, is included in this. It's, uh, but if you want a sewing machine, if you want um, wadding, if you want creative grids, brilliant time to buy those. Because what you do is if you spend £50, you get £5 off. When you check out, you have to put in the code SAVE5. Spend £75, get £7 off with the code SAVE7. Or spend £100 or more and get £15 off with code SAVE15. Terms and conditions are on the website. Remember, it's for web product only. So that doesn't mean if you're watching us and you see a bundle in this ad that you like and it ha you buy it on the web. It's not that. It's nothing that's been on the telly. It's just things that are in the web shop on the website. Right. Now, you've seen this before. Joe's made this before. And the pin cushion. So this is a little caddy. This is a pin cushion. All comes on the pattern. All comes in the pattern, right? But we have Joe's making today the wall hanging. We've not done this before. We've not done the wall hanging. Oh, I've just picked up half a bundle of the back quarters with that. There, look, little wall hanging. Cute, isn't it? Yes, that's K facet fabric. Okay, so that's that. There you go. Can you just hang that back up on the wall behind me, Joe? Thank you. Right, so I've got bundles. I've got bundles. I've got two caves. This one first, I've got in my hand here. So, what you get in the bundle is Ellie Mae's Blue Caravan Wall Hanging Kit, a pack of six fat quarters. Now, it doesn't tell you the colour. So, if you want this colourways, you've got to remember this because I've got two cave ones, right? Because it doesn't say on there which one it is, does it? So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six fat quarters. So you get the purple stripe, the big, uh, you see, now I've had this cloud one. I've never seen the cloud one with that lovely maroon background. The Delft pots in green, the seashells in blue, the big leaves in the green and purple, and the, oh, the same big green leaves, uh, big leaves in the uh, orange and green there. So you get all of that, plus your thread, plus your pattern, Thirty-eight pounds and nine ten pence. There's three three projects now. I've just shown you three things. So you've got the pin cushion, the caddy, and the hanging wall. So they're the two I just showed you, and this is the one what we're making that we're making today. Okay, so that's thirty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Got another cave one here, which I'll put that there. Is this one? So you get the floor. This is more of a pinky. In fact, this is the one that Joe's, this is the one Joe's used. This is the one Joe's used to make hers with. There you go. That's it. So Joe's used that to make this with. So you get the six fat quarters. You get the pattern and the thread. £38.99. Okay. Now, this next one, uh, I had this fat quarter in the last hour. I had this fat quarter just now, didn't I? This is the floral and spots look. Oh, it's slightly... Oh, no, it is the same. It is the same. Floral spot. There you go. Floral spot, floral spot, floral spot. So you get the fat quarter bundle, you get the pattern, and you get the thread. Oh, that one's only $25.99. $25.99. Now, obviously, with the fat quarter, you can't make the whole shebang. So you need to buy some fabrics to go with. So we've done three bundles, very, very copious amounts of fabric in each of these bundles. Now, even if you're not going to make that, the reason we've done it, it's not, you, so a lot of you already got that pattern. So if you're not going to buy that pattern today, and you want this, oh, wait, just tell me. Oh, I'll have to come back to those. Something's happened with the computer. The computer's lost them. So we'll have to come back to that. Let's go and do some um, making then, shall we? You ready, Joe, for me? Oh, ready. <laughs> she, I was watching you yesterday. You're so, like, blasé, aren't you? <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you? Was the iron not working on this side? Um, no, I've not done that sleeve, have I? <laughs> <laughs> she, she arrived, right? And she went straight to the ironing board, like, oh, I've got to iron my top, I've got to iron my top. She forgot to iron that sleeve. Yeah, it's the more prominent. Doesn't matter. Look, I've, I've done that way. Yes, that, that, well, no, because I've got, well, I've got this, I haven't worn this for donkey's years, right at the end of my rail. And um, next to it is this Paul Smith shirt that I bought 
so many, so many years ago, and it cost me 200 pounds. It's all hand embroidered from India. It's just beautiful. And I bought it, and I wouldn't wear it. I wouldn't wear it because it's too expensive. To... Anyway, then I wore it, and I wore it, and wore it, and wore it, because everybody loved it. But in my house in Twickenham, on the rail, I had a rail in my bedroom. I had no blinds in my bedroom. And the sun came in and has bleached. Which arm would it be? I think it's this arm. Right? And I was looking at it yesterday going, I can't get rid of the shirt, but this arm's very, very pale down one side. And I was thinking, <laughs> if I wear it to work, if I just stand like this the whole That'd time and fine. point like this, I'll be all right. But it's so beautiful. <laughs> anyway, Jo, well, I haven't seen you for ages. It's lovely to see you. Um, what are you making today, then? The, that. That. Shall we take it off to have a look at it first, and then we can um, talk us through it? This is cute, isn't it? So, it is. uh, on the pattern, we've done this before, haven't we? Um, yes. So, um, oh, I don't know how you'll be able to look up. But that is on, that's, oh, I know. Message Anna Sewing Nut, and she wants to tell you what day Joe's made these. This is like a little caddy. That's a caravan caddy with a Suffolk puff wheel, a little door. There's also a picture on my website of me in that window, isn't yeah. there? I seem to remember <laughs> uh, that Joe did. Uh, oh, it might have been that window. So that's, the, that's your caddy. There's also this is the biggest pin cushion in the world. It is enormous. <laughs> enormous pin cushion. But that's cute as well, isn't it? Joe's made. Uh, did you make this one as well? Yes. Yeah, Joe's made this one in the past as well. Again, ask Anna Sewing Nut, and she'll be able to tell you what that day it was made on. Uh, and then today, we've never done this before, have we? No, this is the first time doing the storage. Um, so, um, where are the pockets then? There. There, there, there. And then there, there, there. What would you use that one for? Uh, reels of thread. Oh, yes. So, we're going to try and get through as much of this in this hour as we can do. Now, I can feel it's slightly wadded. Yes, it's got some wadding in. And it's got a Suffolk puff on, it's got the joy, it's got buttons. So I've got buttons and the tape measure and everything and the ribbons. I've got some ribbon on there coming up during the hour. But let's just get on and make it. Now, would you say, because the, the um, thingy, the, the, the caddy wasn't difficult apart from that bit at the top had, was the issue, wasn't it? Uh, not yes. issue, that's the wrong word, but where you had to really concentrate. Are there any bits on this where you really have to concentrate? I think this is really quite straightforward. Have a quick look at it, just to make sure. Yes, yes. It, it is. The only thing maybe is the binding because it goes around the curve at the top. But, but actually, because it's bias binding, it does go yeah. around the curve nicely. And in here it says to stitch it to the front and then hand sew to the back. And actually I did it all, for the sake of time, I did it all on the machine. Oh, okay, perfect. So even doing it on yeah, the machine yeah, yeah. was okay. Um, I'll start with the top, the sort of feature panel, which is the caravan. Right. At the top. At the top, yeah. So that's just for decoration. There's no pockets or anything in there, is it? That's the top bit is just decoration. Yes, purely decorative. Brilliant. And for this bit as well, I've left it behind, but I popped... Um, I've got so much, so much oh, stuff for this oh, one. Oh, I no, I haven't got the wadding either. I had cut a piece to fit, yes. but let's just pretend, because I've got okay. already a, a pk yeah. one. Um, little Paul... Just so you know, I haven't got any of the extra bits to show, like the wadding or the ribbons or anything like that in my trolley. Just so you know. So I, I, I put some... Oh, I can't think of the word for it now. Interfacing, Interfa that's it. I, I mean, on interfacing on the back of this right. piece. Right, OK. Because it also helps to hold its shape um, at the top of the storage thing. Oh, because it's, it taking, it's taking all the weight. That bit there is taking all weight, isn't it? So it having is. a bit of stabiliser on there. So it helps to keep it straight, but it also helps to support the applique design. So that's not the stitch and tear, that's just the normal iron just, on interfacing, yeah? Yes. And we have all the templates for the window and the door right. are on here and then you can use this as well to place them correctly. Yeah. So start off, actually I really wish I, oh, it, I started it, I peeled these off before. Oh right, Bondweb. So these are Bondweb done. I've got Bondweb coming in a second, just, we'll just do this. Start with the window and the door, use this you can transfer the placement lines, but actually I find it equally easy just to... OK, have a close-up there. ...use this. Thank you. Here's your bond web. 2 As if by magic. OK. Do you need the iron on now? Well, I've already done these. I mean, these. out, I mean, not on. Do you like... I've, I've, I've popped it on, but... but... Um, I've already done one, so should I not press these on? Or do you think I should? OK, we haven't done wadding yet. Oh, I'll put it through then. Wadding's not yet. That's later. OK. So I've right. popped these into position. I'd press oh, these on. Oh, that looks on. a bit high, that hat. Oh, no. It does. Yes. I thought that when I did it, but and that's keep. I did check again, but it's definitely in the right place. Yes, because you've got a decorative strip there. That's what it is. So once those are fused into position, then pop the curtains on. Right. 
and fuse those on. And then the last thing is this decorative strip at, across the bottom. Right. And then once I got to that stage, I um, applique these in position. So it needs to up the edges and fully secure them. Right. I did it on the machine for speed, but I think, are they, those all machines? You can use embroidery thread and you could blanket stitch them by hand. Right. Here we go. Mo <laughs> says, Morning John, did you really watch Shane Quarter on your day off? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, only, only because, I tell you, Mo, I don't watch anything live normally. I just watch everything on Sky Plus. And the, telly, the telly's um, default button is sewing quarter. So if I go into the room and I go to watch Jeremy Carl that I've already vi videoed, <laughs> sewing quarter comes up and everything. Uh, no, little, no, what it is, is that uh, Mo sent in a few messages ago, a message the other day and called little Paul Petite Paul. And she was like, oh, she said, no, no, the other day, last time we were on. And, and she said, I, I, th I think I've upset little Paul by calling him Petite Paul. And I went, he's being called far worse, don't worry. Uh, so Mo, uh, I did watch it on my day off and the, there are some messages coming through. Right. So on the machine, oh, you've already done it. Yes, I've machined these, because it's quite a bit to get through. I yes, thought, yeah. I've done these ones. And then the last job at this point, I popped some ribbon across there just to neaten up this edge. But I think on the pin cushion, I used a decorative stitch. So there are different ways to make it unique to you, different ways to neaten up this So edge. that's the equivalent of that one there. So yes. you used a decorative stitch on that one. I quite like the ribbon, though. I like uh, the I'll, ribbon. I'll go through the ribbons in a second. Are you going to sew that ribbon on? Yes. While you're sewing that ribbon on, I can now do the bundles, if that's right. Because you're just okay. going to do two straight lines, aren't straight you? Straight line, top and, and bottom. And there's no tip or Joe special... No. Pin it on, or you could glue it on into position first to make it easy. All right. right. I'll let you sew that. I'll just okay. go through the bundles of fabric, and then I'll come back and go through the rest of that. OK, this one. Now, as I was saying before, you need fabric, obviously, to make the body and obviously the pale pink that Joe's used, things like that. And, and um, so you'll need to... So we've done these separately because, as I was saying, some of you will already have your fat quarters or your pattern and everything. You, and some of you might just want this because it's a three-metre bundle. It's a three-metre bundle. You have a metre of each fabric. Um, and this is one with red spot, uh, vanilla uh, linear print and navy blue. Red, it's called red, white, and blue. This one in the middle is not white. The one in the middle is definitely, definitely a creamy colour. So you've got red, white, blue, metre of each, £25.99. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So you get a metre of the spot on, you get a metre of the linear, and a metre of the blue. OK. OK, that's that one. So they've called it red, white, blue, but just so you know, the middle one is not white. It's definitely, definitely a gorgeous clotted cream cream. Next one. OK, so then I've got this one here, which has got the linen effect in the pink, a metre. You've got the lilac uh, spectrum there, a metre, and the pink spot on, a metre. Again, three metres of fabric there, £25.99. pence. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. That's the one that Joe... Oh, actually, that's the one you're using, isn't it? No. No, it's not the one you're using. No, it's not the one Joe's using. Sorry, my bad. £25.99. And then the last one, which is the one that Joe is using. These are gorgeous, gorgeous bundles. So this one, you get like a lavender spot on. You get a, uh, like an antique pink, uh, and then you get the Christmas red. One metre of each. £22.99 and 99 pence. 22.99 that one. OK? Right, I'll go back now. I'll just show you the ribbon that Joe's just used as well, which is... <laughs> the last one I come to. The ribbon that Joe used here. You can buy a reel of this. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful colour. Um, so that you get four metres. Stitched grow grain ribbon, navy and white, four pounds and forty nine pence. Right, on with the sewing. That's what are you doing now? Okay, so I've popped the ribbon onto there. I'll yeah. trim the edges just so it is nice and flush, and then this can go to one side while I concentrate on the rest of it. Now, you could put the button on at this point for the handle if you wanted, but I popped it on right at the very end. Oh, okay. I've got buttons. I'll show you those later then. So move those bits. Yeah. Um, and yes, I did. I put the bond web on the back. No. No, that's, that's that, interfacing. That's that. Interfacing. I'm having an interfacing blind this. Well, spot. no, because it's not bundle web. It is interfacing. They're telling me off. 
No, no, it off. is. It's not. They're telling me for correcting you. Here's the interfacing. Okay. Graphics in. Right. Two ninety nine. There you go. Oh. Brilliant. I've done, now, did you interface? All three of all oh, there's two sections. Did you do, do you interface all the sections? I just, or just did the that, top one. Just that one. Okay. Right. I just thought it would help with the applique and with the holding yes. shape. Okay. So the next job. This is the centre piece. Which is all one. That's now the from the from the bottom of the caravan to the bottom of the thing, isn't it? That's all one yes. piece now. Yeah. Because the bottom pockets go over it. Yeah. Because it does look a bit longer at this point. Yeah. I've cut this for the pocket. Have I cut that straight? Oh, I have. It suddenly looked a bit funny there. And um, that's the pocket. We need to find the top of it. Did you fussy cut the pocket? I did. I wanted a teacup on it. OK. Why? No, just asking. Did you want it more? I thought it'd be odd if it was too central. But no, I, I don't want anything. I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's awful. I'm feeling very touchy today. No, no, no. I think it's because... Um, who was in the other day? Jane was in the other day, and I said, "Stop muttering, Jane." <laughs> and somebody complained, and then I went, "And you know, you, you know how she's like you. She's brilliant at what she does, but like you are. But you're like, oh, I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong. <laughs> and I just went, oh, Jane, I want to shake you sometimes because she's like you. You're so brilliant at what you do. I'm in awe, right? And then someone complained that because they said I wanted to shake Jane. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Okay. So there are three strips of binding. This one I'm going to use for the pockets. So I'll just oh, okay, just for the top of the pocket, yeah. Yep. So I'm just going to trim across there. Yeah. I'll Why is, is, it, is it bias or is it straight? It's, it's bias binding. It's cut on the angle, so I'll trim this extra bit. Off. Okay. I don't need it for this. But pocket. this bit doesn't. That bit doesn't need to be biased, does it necessarily? No, you going could across just, the top of the pocket. If yeah. you would rather work with um, no, uh, straight cut grain. on, yes, yeah, straight yeah. grain binding. So I right, shall have a word together by the time we get to the ballerie. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. been a long day already. I know. Right, I'm going to give this a press. Oh, that's what I was doing, wasn't it? Getting the iron out. Uh, loving the show, John. It's very addicted. I've got loads to do, but I'm sat here watching you. Oh, Mary, thank you. That's what happens, though, isn't it? That's, like Mo said, I put my telly on, you go there, to watch Jeremy Kyle or watch something like that. And if it's on, I'll end up sitting watching like this, like, kind of it's ridiculous. It is I did, our TV is set. When it comes on, it's automatically on Stone Quarter. Uh, I've had an email. From Polly, from Polly. Oh, here we go. Morning, John. I see behind you there's a hanging organiser. I purchased this pattern from Sewing Quarter and made my two grandchildren one each uh, for Easter and put little eggs and gifts in the pockets. They loved them. Thought you'd like to see them. Keep up the good work, John, and thank you. Polly from Norfolk. Oh, they're lovely, Polly. What you've done is you've just done three big pockets. I remember that fabric. Look, I well, remember the fabric on the right. I don't remember the fabric on the left. I know, they're lovely. And to find sweets in them as well, Polly, they're lovely. Perfect. Yeah. Right, so I've pressed this in half and then pressed the sides, the long sides, into the centre. Right, so you're making a bias binding so, like, that you'd buy from the shops or whatever like that. Yes. Yeah. There we go. And this is the bit... If I was going to do something wrong, this would be the bit I would oh, do Oh, here we go, then. Why? Because I want to sew this to the back of the pocket. Oh. And fold it round to the front, because I'm going to machine it on, and I want my neat machine stitching on the front. So I'm going to stitch it onto the back. And Are I you going to do it in one line, in one go, then? No, I do it in two goes. OK, so why don't you... This is just me. This is go on. The, right. How I would do it, from a dressmaker's point of view, is I would machine stitch that, that, oh, how wide do you want your binding? You see, what you, I'd do in dressmaking is I'd machine along there, then you'd fold that one back, then you've got a really, really neat edge there, then it folds over and folds over like bias binding, and then, because that's there, I'd then stitch in the ditch there to catch the one behind. I would do so, you wouldn't see the edge from yes. behind. Yeah. Anyway, oh. I'm not trying to send my if grandma. I do that, to me. No, yeah. do it your way, do it your way, and I'll teach you afterwards. Thanks. If I do that, I'll make a mess of it. Um, Ma oh, this is an unusual name. Amandy Jane. Woohoo! I've got the telly bob. I've got you on the telly bob thing. You've already lowered my bank balance. Absolutely love the caravan wall hanging kit. Wow. Is your name really Amandy Jane? Because that isn't that what's in the in the system? That bit that comes up there. I don't know. It's nice. Amandy. 
Right, so I cut it a little bit longer than I needed so I can trim it. Now I do it this way so that I've got a neat folded edge. But and I can keep my stitching yes, neat. Yeah. See, I'd make it it'd be wobbly off and on. Well, if I no, did no, it the because other way. Well, if, if that was the other way round, right, and you stitched it, if that was already stitched down, and you stitch in the ditch there, you don't even see the stitches on the front. Mm -hmm. It's just oh. a, it's a Rod today. Morning, John. Happy Friday. Love the shirt. Oh, it's, we have so many people live in West Yorkshire. I, I, do, have you been to West Yorkshire on your travels with your boys? Yeah. It's so beautiful, isn't it, West Yorkshire? You looked like you had a fantastic time in North Wales last week, though. We did. It was really good. And would your husband really have bare feet in the sea on, on one day? There was a day when you looked like you were on the rocks. He fell over in oh. the... So he not only had wet feet, he had wet... He was wet? Yes. Oh. But... Um, didn't break his glasses, that was a <laughs> Oh, right, okay, that's a, oh, good, that's a good thing. Um, you always look like you're having so much fun, you and the boys always look like they're having so much fun on your holidays. It's really nice to see. They had a really good time. But that, but that was last week for Easter weekend. So they're now, yes. are they on, go on, do they break up for holiday today now then? They for do. Two weeks? It's odd sort of holidays yeah. around us. So you're going away again? No. No, they've had no. their trip away. That's now. it, that's the treat for this year now. Done. Mind you, aren't they, aren't they of an age where they're going to have to start doing a lot of homework at school? How old are they now? They're 10 and 7. Oh, well, no, they, not yet, not quite yet. Well, they both have SATS tests this year. They both have what? Oh. So, I didn't really think that through. There we go. What, the SAT tests? Yeah, double SATS tests in the one year. Uh, well, you couldn't have planned your babies around, oh, well, I can't have a baby this year in case they... Oh, no, the, the SATs trauma in yes. several years' you'll get, them, you'll get them out back both of the way in the same year, though. That's quite good. Yeah, that's... So they can both be nervous at the same time. Yes. Well, the little one's never nervous about anything no. like that. Oh. There we go. So I've done the pocket. Yep. And then press, I think it's 1.3 centimetres in around the sides and the bottom. And then I'll place that on. Okay. It could be a very posh wall hanging, isn't it? With K, K facet, spectrum, solid, spot on. It's going to be lovely, isn't it? Well, it's practically sort of decor, isn't it? Well, it's just, de yeah, de designer decor for yeah. the room, isn't it? But it's going in your sewing room anyway, isn't it? I'm just thinking, could you put it in a, in a child's bedroom? What would you keep in it, like, not Lego, but it's not big enough for Lego, is it? But, you know, things that you don't want on the floor. Yes, you can fit a book in there. Oh, yes, a book. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even think about it. The children still, you, still read proper books, or do they just read on a Kindle and a My two read proper books, but then... 75% of their grandparents were librarians. So. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Books are quite, you know, big I enough. Love, you see, the thing is, I love... It's, I, I know they say you shouldn't have your phone... Because I use my phone as one of, one of my um, um, alarm clocks in the morning, that the phone's... And if, if I put it on silent, if I see the light flash or it vibrates, I have to look at it. So even if I... The last thing you do is look at your phone. I should really look at a book rather than a phone, shouldn't I? No, that's not very... Oh, it's not central, that's why. So I'll position the pocket... So on the pattern, all the cutting lines there and all the placement lines. All the placement lines, lines even the placement lines for, for the squidgy the... bit. Yes. Let's see, let's straighten that up now. For the sake of speed, I think this is pretty much right. I'll pin this on. I'll do a quick check to make sure it's not totally off. Pretty much there, and then I'm just going to sew. I, when sewing a pocket on, I always go around twice. I'll just do it the once here. Okay. But I like in, twice in real life, just a bit of extra security. Uh, 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 so if you go around twice, that means you don't have to. Because the bit when you're about to do now at the top of the pocket, you'd always reinforce that anyway, wouldn't you? Because it's yes. got little hands coming in and out of it all the time. It does. It helps to do a bit of a triangle at the top. In fact, yeah. should I do that just to make sure it's? Oh. So I'll just go across like that. There we go. And just want to keep as close to the edge as possible. Mm. 
No, it won't work. It, that won't work, I don't think. No, but I'll tell you what I can do with it. You keep sewing, Joe. You keep sewing. Okay. <laughs> That's the mini me watching you over your shoulder. Yeah, she's looking down exactly. Uh, now, the only thing that's different is your fringe, you've grown your fringe a bit. When yeah. you designed that ballerina, your fringe used to look like that, didn't it? Look. Looking like you. Can you spell a bit more? Because the ballerina's a bit happier than you oh. are. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> right, while you're sitting now, I've just got to go over to, both, to, over to the other side. Don't do anything okay. without me. I've got everything here. Bundles of the Fabrico. You mean the fabric bundles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we couldn't do them at the beginning because there was a bit of a hiccup. I've got the one that's got the Christmas red, the antique pink, and the, the kind of um, lavender spot on. You get a metre of each fabric. Now, the thing is, use them by all means to make, um, to make the, the wall hanging. But you might just want these for your red, pink, and mauve. Yeah, red, pink, and mauve. Yeah. It's the most popular one so far. Well, it's also the most affordable one. £22.99. So you get a metre of Christmas red, you get a metre of the antique pink, and you get a metre of the lilac or mauve spot on. All 100% cotton, all machine washable, 44 inches wide. Beautiful, aren't they? They are cut to a metre. So if you buy two of these... Oh, I've had... Now, I've had an explanation why that happens, right? Um, because what happened, remember I said, oh, we're trying to get it, trying to get it. At the moment, the way it works is, so say 50 of you buy this, what they do, or, or there are 50 sold, say, in an auction, what they do is they get the machine and they cut 50 of those, 50 of those, and 50 of those. Then what happens is, so if you've ordered three, they go, right, three for Paul, two for John. So that's why if you buy a bundle, you have to get repeats of the same thing, you know, because when you buy fabric off the roll, they go, oh, Paul wants three metres of this. They measure it for three metres and then they slice it like that. Whereas these are like done by the 40 or by the 50 sort of thing. So that's why your bundles, you can never get bundles that join together. So if you buy two of these, you will get two one metres of red, two one metres of the pink, two one metres of the mauve. £22.99. Right, next one. Now, they've called this one red, white, and blue. It's not white. I just need to tell you it's not white. The spot is white in here, in the bright red spot uh, meter of that. This one here is, uh, I don't know if you can see it at home. When I was watching at home, yes, Mo, the other day on my day off, they had this um, on air, and I couldn't see the, it's a linear print. I couldn't see it at home on my telly, the linear print there. I need to cut my nails up. And then I've also got the dark blue as well there. Meter of each, £25.99. That'd be lovely for summer bunting, wouldn't it? Forget about this. It could be lovely for summer bunting, that, wouldn't it? Oh, for the royal wedding. When's that? When, when, are, they, when are they getting married? Right, here we go. Moving on. Little Paul's trying to tell me it's been cancelled. Um, aren't we going to have the day off? Don't we get the day off? When it be a national holiday? Anyway, something came up on my Facebook. Um, you know when they... You know when it, it knows what you're thinking. Facebook knows what you're thinking and everything. And I was thinking, oh, if I'm working the day of the wedding, what will I wear? And then like, literally, I only thought it, literally, this thing popped up going, Union Jack flag suit. And I'm like, how did it know I was even thinking about what am I going to wear? Anyway, uh, this is linen effect. There's no linen in it. It's 100% cotton, but it's gorgeous fuchsia pink. Then you've got the pale lilac there. Well, that's fuchsia. They've called that one fuchsia. And then you've got the pink spot on, £25.99. It's a metre of each, £25.99. Then I've got three, three bundles here to make the, um, the bundle with. So you get the pattern. Oh, you get the thread. <laughs> now, hang on, it's not that thread you get then if we're doing the blue first. You get the thread, you get the pattern, and you get the six pack fat quarter for 38 pounds. Now, obviously you can't make all of it with just the fat quarters. You do need some fabric, whether you buy it from the bundle or whether you've got some, you, that's not enough to make. You could make the, the um, pin cushion 
and you could make the um, pouch. If you're just going to make either of those two, this is enough fabric. But if you're going to make the wall hanging, you do need other fabric too, okay? So that's £38.99. That's the blue one. I've then also got this cave one, which is the kind of um, more summery coloured one, the pinks and the yellows and the oranges, which is the one Jo's used on the one behind her on the wall. Um, pattern, six pack fat quarter and the pink thread. Okay. And then we've also got the... Um, other one here. Now, I had this fat, fat quarter bundle in my... You get the pattern and the thread again, obviously. And then this one is floral and dots. Or dots and floral, dots and floral, dots and floral, floral dots. £25.99, that one. Pattern, fat quarter and uh, thread. £25.99. Right, remember, it's a spend and save day today. Uh, it's not, not, not including anything that you see on the telly for the whole day. It's uh, anything that's in our web shop. So sewing machines, um, wadding, um, creative grid rulers, rotary cutters, anything that we're not selling today on the show is available in this spend and save. If you spend £50, you'll get £5 off by putting the code as you check out, save five. Seven pounds if you, pay, if you spend £75 with the code save seven and spend over £100 or over and you get £15 off, but you do have to put the code SAVE15 in your um, the box as you check out. Right, that's me done over here. That iron smells like it's... But were you in yesterday? Yes. What did you make? I didn't use the iron. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember what I made. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> I did use the iron. Yeah. <laughs> Someone ask. I can smell it over there. Right, so you put that pocket on. Yes. Now what? Now the bottom pocket. And it's made of three pieces. Um, oh, yes. So I've cut three of these from different fabrics. I thought they could look quite okay, pretty yeah. together. It's nice the way that you've done one sideways on the pocket over there as well. Yes, I got that. <laughs> 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 so mean. No, I'm not trying to say that because I'll get complaints. <laughs> right. So you're just sewing those together to create a panel across. Yes. I've chosen the sort of pinky one to go in the centre. Right. But on the pattern, it says vinyl for a... I, I don't like a see-through pocket because you... Oh, don't you? No. Oh, because it looks messy. Yeah. You see, isn't it funny? Lucy loves a see-through pocket. Not on something like a hanging because it just... Yes. Oh. All the rubbish. Because I like it to be more decorative. Yes, of course. Well, what you mean is, if you put it in a plastic pocket, you've got to put it in tidily. And when you're tidying yes. up, you just like to shove something in there. I'm a scruff, yeah. basically, yeah. Yes, and this shows how sad I am because there was a bit you were talking to Natasha about. You've got all animal, not real animal limbs, but your soft toy animal limbs on the windowsill. I have. There's all little, yes, toy yeah. bits and bobs Aww. stacking up. It does look a bit sinister, I think, rather than cute. Though. Yeah. Well, then she said about, um, I, I turned off at this point, but she's talking about a, a mannequin's legs or something upside down. If you go to Eel Pie, I used to live near Eel Pie Island in, uh, in Twickenham, and one of the gardens on Eel Pie Island is just, there's no plants. All the mud is done like a mud, you know, the beds. But yeah. there's no flowers in the beds. There's just plastic dollies. Oh. Also, and when you walk, because there's no cars on Eel Pie Island, you have to walk everywhere. When you walk at night time, it's, it's not very well lit, and you walk past this house, and there's all these little dollies just, like, looking at you. No, nope, they haven't got clothes on. They're just <laughs> all shoved in the mud like that. Anyway, you need to iron that. Yes. Um, if you are doing a see-through pocket in the centre, press the seams away. Well, don't press it. Oh, no, don't press it. <laughs> Finger press the seams away from the centre. Oh, yes, because otherwise you'll have the, you'll have the you'll seam allowance the, yeah. going into the pocket, won't you? Oh, only the middle one is see-through. You yes. think that's what it says? On... Oh, yes, one, it's just yes, 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 yes. Have a look on the, on the um, pattern here. They've got the middle pocket there as see-through. Yours, okay. yours hasn't got, um, that one's got a frill across the top of it. I know, I left it, I made that one quite, it's quite simple. I've left a few of the frills off, only okay. because to show off more of the yes, cake exactly. fabric. Exactly. Uh, we've had an email from Pauline. Oh, Pauline in Axminster. <gasps> She's made one with extra pockets. Look, that's, that's brilliant, isn't it? So she's got the caravan at the top. 
and then the she's got the big pocket. Oh, she's made the pocket and the door. The window and the door are both are both pockets. Look. <gasps> That's really clever. And then she's got my loop turner look next door to the squidgy cotton reels. And then, she, now look, she hasn't done three. I love, oh, I love the fact she's used, look, are they sheep peeping over the top of the, at the bottom? You've got oh, the yeah. three pockets. You've just got one sheep looking over the top. So she hasn't done a see-through pocket for the middle either. And she's made the What, the, the, the sheep's a ruler? The... How can you see that? What, you sell us, we sell... No, is it? Carry on going. I'm just going to have a quick look at this. Apparently, it's not a, sh a sheep at all. It's not a sheep at all. It's the, it's the seam guide thing that we sell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly need to get my tested. Right. I've got another email. Hi, Joe and John. John and Joe. Loving the show as always. Never any complaints from me. I know you're only joshing. I retired yesterday and now have the luxury of watching you live every day. Yay! Thought you might like to see my makes of Joe's Lions and Lucy's Cushions for my grandson's birthday. We'll have lots of time for lots more now. Lynn in Fli Oh, I love your lion. They're fabulous. Oh, look. Oh, and you got... Oh, look. Now you're just doing that to stir, aren't you? You've got the pin tin. <laughs> After all that hassle we had with the pin tin. Anyway. OK. Thank you, though. Thank you for that, Lynn. Right, OK. Should oh, I, do I love the face on that lion. This is what I love about your toys, is you make them here, and when people make them home, they've all got completely different personalities, haven't they? They do. Somebody messaged in the other day saying, um, you, somebody made your rabbit, saying it looked like me. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Should I do, find this just pocket you your just tell, just tell us, because then we can, move, it's up to you. Oh, well, I best do it the way I know, otherwise. Oh, no, no, do it your way, do it your way. Otherwise, your I'll way. never get finished. And also, I met the, do you remember when we did the caravan, the storage thing, and a lady sent in a picture of, she'd done a caravan, a sea view, which was her, the caravan they used to have holidays in. Yes, 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 I met her at, at Olympia. Oh. Oh, was that the show I didn't make it because of the snow? Was yes. that the knitting and stitching show? Yes, that's yeah. the one the snow was. It was really bad that weekend. Yeah, I was, in the, I was having a holiday with Little Paul. <laughs> we were in the, in the hotel, yeah. In fact, the management have said now, that because we're in that hotel so often, we have to start sharing rooms. Oh, no. Yeah. So Hannah's going in with Big Chris. I don't have to share a room, do I? Well, no, you're not on the same day as Hannah, are you? You see, so you'd, uh, you'd have to go in with whoever else was staying that night. But it's normally only three of us, isn't it? So it's usually either Natasha, Paul and Chris, or me, Hannah and Chris, or me, Paul and... Mind you, the night was me, Paul and Chris, and they drank the bar dry, those two. <laughs> I heard... Yeah, Everyone hears. <laughs> I, I haven't seen Joe. I haven't been able to tell her. What? No, the barman. The next day, he was counting all the money. I was in this... I went in... They made us... Make Hannah and I stay there this weekend. Was it... What day was, was it? it? Sunday. Hannah was so hungover. She could hardly walk to the <laughs> hotel. And uh, we got there. And there were only like a couple, when we booked it, there were only a couple of rooms. And we were like, it was very empty today. And they went, yeah, not busy yet. Literally, we just checked in and a whole busload of tourists, like, filled the whole reception. And then all these kind of um, dancers and singers all arrived as well. So it was heaving with people. So. And then it didn't snow. Uh, no, it didn't snow. And there were sirens going all night, which Hannah didn't hear. And in the morning, I thought, Blimey, that siren... I was right on the front by the main road above the reception, so I had lots of noise. But um, I said to Hannah, did you hear that siren this morning? It was a police car coming to the hotel with its sirens and blue lights going. Right? And I, well, I said it was because of Hannah, yeah? Um, <laughs> she, went, she, she didn't hear any of it. It was right outside her window. <laughs> right, now I'm going to... So what had happened? Anything? In... No, they, they went, came running in and then they went. So oh. nothing had happened, it was obviously a false alarm. Mind you, the night Paul and I stayed, the, all the alarms went off at midnight um, because uh, somebody had a shower. They said somebody had a shower and set the, sh set the thing on. I was up and dressed and ready to leave my room. I said, Paul, how far did you get? He went, I didn't even get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get on with some sewing. Don't want to hear about us and our domestics. I've never had any problems. Haven't you? No, it's always been nice. 
That's not, I'm not saying it's horrible. No, no, uh, no, but no. then also on Sunday night, they didn't set any of the tables. So we said, you're not doing food. And they went, yeah, but we don't want people to know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only because we'd been there before, we knew they were doing food. Right. Uh, if you were going to add some trim onto the pocket. Yes, I think like, like the frill. Yes. Add it before doing this stage. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to keep them simple. Yeah, no, to, I quite like it simple, yeah. I'm going to base these on around the sides and then stitch. Oh, so it's side. not one big pocket, it's three it's little three pockets. It's three sections. Yeah. I mean, you could leave it as one big yeah. pocket if you want Well, to. I think the only trouble with leaving it as big, one big pocket, people will try and put bigger, heavier things oh, in it. Oh, and it'd weigh it down. It, and it'd make it sag, wouldn't it? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> what are you doing? It's flattening it, because it had oh, it's... been squinched by the caravan. I've not really transported it in a particularly flat position either. No. Members the three bundles, there's this one here. Now, obviously, you can make the caravan pouch or the pin cushion out of those, but you can't make the wall hanger that you need extra fabric. £38.99, pence. K facet in the blue. Next one we've got is the other K facet one in the kind of reds and yellows. Most popular out of the K. And then the last one, but not least, is the flowers and spots. Oh, you don't get to see all the others on that picture. They've decided not to do a display of those ones. Thread and pattern. £25.99. The thing is, you know, with those fat quarters, um, you might not want to make the pouch and the... and the, You might have other fabrics to make that out, to, you, to, to match in with your room. You know, the book I had earlier, the um, Susie John's book, that was a fat quarters for handbags. Wouldn't those cave fabrics look lovely in some of the ones that I showed you earlier? It's £12.99. Right, I'm just stitching to divide the pockets, and I'm stitching on the outer, just inside the seam, on the outer pocket, because that's the way the seam allowance is pressed, and it will just hold that into position. Of course, yeah. And again, so it's two lines of stitching. I'm just going to turn around. 680 just... machine back in stock. It's been out of stock for a while. Got it back in stock. And today, spend and save. How much would you save on it today? Or oh, £15 if you bought it today? Because you couldn't just pass me that boot, could you? <laughs> Chris is an in shot, right? But he kind of went all the way around the table to make it look neater like that. And he wasn't even in shot. Why is that good? You did what? Bit of exercise. Get rid of some of that weight. Anyway, sorry, Karen. OK, this is the... I wonder what they called it. Loop band. Loop band. So I've, I've prepped one. But this is the piece for the loop band. And it's a good idea. These stitching lines, flip it over, and if you've got a water erasable pen, which you're never without. Which I'm never without, no. I lost one, it was a dog. One of ours? No, one of mine. Oh, OK. But one of ours, yes. Well, when you're on holiday? Yes. You took sewing with you on holiday? I take everything with you, yes. Was Helen with you as well? Did your mum go? She did. She had a nice... She wasn't on any of the pictures, was she? Um, not that I'm stalking you or anything. I've not put many pictures on, actually. No. She didn't end up in the water. She what? She didn't end up in the water. No, she's got more sense, hasn't she? Morning, John. Oh, I've done that one. The Rosalind one. Oh, no, I've got Rosalind up at the moment. So transfer those over, mark them on this side. I'll yeah. Stop doing that to save time. And then press this in half and stitch along this length. So you're, just make, you're making like a back handle, really, but when you've made it, you've got your markings on there for where it's... Yes, but before turning it out, once it's stitched, press the seam open and then turn it the right way out and then position it so that the seam runs down the centre and it'll be uh, nice oh, and okay. neat. And why do, is there any reason why you press the seam open? Because once you turn it inside out, it will just lie open inside and it makes it easier and it's not lumpy oh, okay. there no, to good, press good, it good, and good, get good, it down yeah. the centre. It no. says that in the pattern, that's yeah. not my... I can't take credit for that no. tip. OK. And then it also says to fold over the ends. Yeah. To neaten them up, but actually I took them inside just so it's. What was it, little Paul? 
Joan John, very inspiring. She loves uh, sewing. And who's... Uh, Cor Corliss, uh, uh, how do you spell it? Oh, Corliss, that's a nice name. Not her name, Christy. Swansea, Barada, Shumai. Oh, she, she, she loved the fact that we did eight hours live the other day. If you watch on Freeview now, just so you know, if you missed the other day, it's not live for eight hours. That was just a celebration for it going. So today, our, our, for example, on um, Freeview, you'll get us live until 12 o'clock, and then you'll get the show repeated from 12 till 4, and on Sky, we'll just keep repeating until tomorrow morning. Right, so I've tucked the ends in to neaten it up. Um, I don't wish to worry anybody. I know, is that... But that's not the tester, is it? That, it's still going, normally. Funny, isn't it? Funny how these things happen. I talked about the fire alarm. It stopped. It's gone. It stopped. It stopped. Oh, it'll just be somebody pressing the wrong button in the other room. We've got this new intercom system to let people in, and it, some, it decides, just decides on its own, doesn't it, who it's letting in and who it's not letting in. Now, the placement lines, it's a good idea to transfer them through. I haven't popped them on here. And actually, the one I made, I didn't... Uh... Oh, I guess I'd do then, the same as you. I'd have turned the end in like that. Oh, so it's not got elastic in it? There's no elastic. It's just positioned... So just check that these lines that have been drawn on, so I'll put that there like that, are level with those ones there and pin all the way down. It takes a while to do so much. I was going to say, we've only got five minutes left. Should I skip this step? So carry on with those yeah, and then yeah, stitch yeah. along, following those, just stitch in a rectangle, following those lines. Okay. And that seals those in. Okay. And then... Now, I just thought that... Why, did I, why would I have thought that had elastic in it? Don't know. It's just gathered. Yeah, yeah, it's just gathered. But in. you could put elastic in it. No, no, it gets too complicated, too complicated. OK, so what's next, then? What's and actually, if that? you had smaller re reels of thread, thread just re-measure and reposition your lines if you wanted yes, different. Yeah. But it might need to be trimmed a bit shorter. I got an email with a picture from Babs. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Just finished these quilts made, uh, made using Quilts You Go patterns. I've got Quilts You Go with Janice tomorrow and fabric from Sewing Quarter. Love, love, love Sewing Quarter. You tempt me to order nearly every day. My husband says that it's Christmas for me every day. <laughs> John and Joe, fabulous. Thank you, Babs. That quilt's beautiful. Not sure where Babs is from. Doesn't say, no. <laughs> right, OK, what's next? OK, stitch the top on. And then the last job then is to add the... Oh, that's just, se that's just seamed on then, It's just one. seamed on. And then we'll add tape measure. OK. For a bit of extra detail. Right, I haven't got one in the packet, so I'll have to show you mine. It's a normal tape measure that Jo's used. She just chopped up and sewn on. Oh, and it's... You might, oh, now, if you... Yes, a lot of you were saying you couldn't find the eight hours on YouTube. There was an, uh, there was an error. Oh, and apparently, I'll tell you more in a minute, uh, it's now on YouTube, so the whole of the eight hours from... Wednesday is now on YouTube. And yes, the cameras did carry on running afterwards. And yes, you did see two people going up a ladder. And yes, you did see somebody's <laughs> boxer shorts. People said, John, what's happening? There's still a box on set. Oh, there's two men on the set now. <laughs> it was um, Jesse and Tim. I don't know what they were doing. They put a new light up or something. Because they said, somebody said there was a white box on the table. And that's what the camera was angled on. And they... And they couldn't have figured out. Imagine if it had been one the other days when I was doing voiceovers. And I was standing there like, no, Bex, I'm not doing that. No, Bex, I'm not you know, doing all my diva strops and everything. There we go. So I've just popped that on quickly. OK. Press the seam downwards, which yep. it will want to do anyway, anyway because yes, of the bond of web. And then cut the tape measure. There's placement lines as well to get it into the right position. And actually, a little bit of textile glue would help to hold it in position because you can't... It will leave a mark if you pin it. I've got it here. Textile glue. Gutemann textile glue. Four ninety-nine. You can use that for jobs like this, but also for when you're making purses and everything. Because if you look here, the nozzle is narrow enough to go inside the, the purse clasp. So you can get the... That's me putting the glue in the purse clasp like that. OK, right. OK, so this is on. The tape measure's on. The next job is to baste this to the wadding. Now, I always cut the wadding slightly larger. Yes. Baste it on and then trim it to size. OK. And then the back... Have you done, well, there's no quilting, then? 
No, you could add quilting um, at this next stage, add the back then and baste the back to it so you've got all three layers together. Yeah. And then you could add quilting at that point. You could add, I've done the button at the end. And oh, yes. Stitched it through so it will hold them, the layers yes. together. Yeah, yeah. But you could add. Oh, now there's no bagging out either, is there? Because it's the whole thing's bound. It is. So imagine they're all stitched together and we've got the wadding in the centre. Then there's, on the template, it shows you where to add the ties. So there's two on either side. And this is just a piece, like binding, pressed in half and then the edges two into the centre. Two on either side? Two on either side, yeah. I wonder why they've done that. Anyway, I feel you like sure you read it right? Four, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have we doubted myself all How the time? How funny, though. Well, it's so you could tie them to things, not necessarily together. Oh, that's nice. That could be for when I'm out for dinner. I always get my dinner down myself. <laughs> um, where's... Um, Oh, yeah. Why are there two on... Uh, oh! Why are there two on either side, do you think? I would think maybe so you could... I don't know what you tie it to, but tie these two to something. Oh, these, in my Indian princess bedroom, I could tie those over the um, four-poster, You think. could. They said I put one... Anyway, anyway, it's strange that they put two in there. So you just put those in to there. And then the last job is to bind it and make sure these are fa facing forward with the binding. Right. Now, it says in the pattern to sew the binding to the front and then fold it round to the other side and, and hand stitch it down. No. And actually you do these sides, but I don't know if you can see on that one, the bottom piece binding is added separately at the end. Oh, I wonder why that in. is. And um, before we go any further, that, uh, is it bias binding or straight binding? It's bias binding. Okay. So Thank you, Jo. Now you're back in an hour's time, aren't you, with, uh, oops. Your ballerina, but your ballerina in lilac this time. Ballerina in lilac. Due to um, public demand, I yes. hear. Right. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Joe. I'll see you in an Thank hour's you. time. Thank you. See you later. Right. Where shall I start? The fabric bundles, okay. Red, pink, and mauve. Christmas red. Antique pink and mauve spot on. £22 and £99. Lots of those in baskets. Remember, it's not yours until you've checked it out. You get a metre of each. One metre of the Christmas red, one metre of the antique pink, one metre of the mauve spot on. £22 and £99. Gorgeous, those colours together, aren't they? OK. Uh, next one is the navy one. So now, they've called this red, white and blue, but... It's actually a red spot on. It's a cream, no, not cream, vanilla linear. And um, that's the dark blue. That's the dark blue you get there. Oops. That's lovely, isn't it? Imagine a uh, wedding bunting, I'm thinking for that one. Wedding bunting, metre of each. Make a lot of bunting with that, couldn't you? Th then, um, last but not least, I love this one. You get the fuchsia linen look in the Macau Solid. You get the very pale lilac. Wouldn't say, they've called it purple. It's definitely not a purple. And then you've got the pink spot on. Metre of each, three metres of fabric there, 25 pounds and 99 pence. Okay. Uh, then I've got these um, bundles. Okay, so you get the, the blue cave here. Uh, you get the six uh, pack fat quarter. You get the pattern and you get the thread. Thirty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. You also get the uh, cave with the summery colours, with the oranges and the pinks. There's the trefoil one there, and the zigzag one. This is the one that Joe was just using. No, this is the one Joe. Yeah, yeah, Joe's just using. And the pattern. Okay. And then the last one is called the spots and florals. Spots and florals here. Most popular, this one. So you get the six fat quarter again. You get spots in the florals. Spots and florals, spots and florals. Six of those. Thread and the pattern. £25.99. pence. That one's becoming limited. OK, and then just a quick uh, update. The book. Back in stock. Uh, we had Susie in last week. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Uh, we've got it back in today. 
very, very popular again. It's called Fat Quarter Bags and Purses. It's £12.99. Uh, remember, if you're a new buyer and you buy this, you'll get the free gift of a pair of scissors today. It is fantastic. It covers all the basic sewing things, techniques, and then tote bags, and you've got all sorts of little rucksacks. You've got the bottle carrier. You've got the coin purse, the passport wallet. I mean, everything. Sunglasses case laptop bag, which is lovely. Uh, then the shoulder bag that we actually did on the show last week. Then, of course, you've got those pouches. These are brilliant. These, I think these would be good for a little girl's bedroom. They've put pictures with knitting and everything. Like, imagine a whole row of those along a little girl's bedroom on the old wooden pegs. And you can put, like, dollies and dollies clothes and everything like that in there. Uh, clothes protector. Large storage bag. Beautiful, that large storage bag. Art and craft caddy. And then lots and lots of children's bag ideas there. So much for 12, nine times 25 projects for 12 pounds and 99 pence. Don't go anywhere because in the next uh, hour, it's me on my own with lots of fabrics for you to do quilting, like bundles and I've got a couple of box. I've got, uh, have I? Oh, I've got the Liberty bundle and the Devon County bundle. So don't go anywhere. I will see you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. We've got something amazing coming for all fans of Tilda as we've got a TV exclusive on Tilda's brand new book, Sunshine Sewing. We have the TV exclusive until the end of April, so get your copy from us before anywhere else and pour over Tilda's latest sewing creations. The brand new book features three full-size quilts as well as pillows, soft toys and fabric bowls, all made in Tilda's charming style. You'll be able to delve into 12 brand new summer projects and get inspired by her countryside themed designs. So add some sunshine into your life with Tilda's brand new book, Sunshine Sewing, available on our website now. So today we're going to be learning the prick stitch. Now, the prick stitch is very similar to a back stitch and they're basically very tiny stitches which are visible on the front of the fabric uh, and very long stitches on the back. So first of all, you need to start with the needle at the wrong side of the fabric coming through to the front. And like I said, it's very similar to the back stitch where you're going to go backwards rather than forwards. And you want to make this stitch as tiny as possible. So taking a couple of um, th strands from the fabric itself. And then the length of your prick stitch could be entirely up to you. So I'm going to make it quite a large one so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going through the fabric and then I'm going to come back again, taking a couple of strands from the fabric to come down. You want to keep these as even as possible as you're going across the line. So there we have our prick stitch. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. We have a very special deal for you today. For one day only, we'll be offering you a huge spend and save discount. When you spend £50, you will receive £5 off. When you spend £75, you'll receive £7 off. And when you spend over £100, you'll get an amazing £15 off. 
So, whether you need to add some more fabulous fabric to your stash, or just want to stock up on scissors and thread, make sure you take advantage of this incredible deal while it lasts. But hurry, this deal is only valid for 24 hours and will end at 8am on the 7th of April. For full terms and conditions, please visit the Sewing Quarter website. Happy shopping! Do you remember this? The Devon County quilt. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure this one's supposed to have gone back by now. <laughs> but anyway, isn't it just gorgeous? Well, I've got the fabrics. I've got the fabrics in a mega bundle for that. It's not the bundle to actually make the whole quilt. What it is, it's a, um, a mega bundle of half a meter of all the fabrics that are in that in there. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, hang on, there's one missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You get 22, unless do you get a metre of one of them. I wouldn't have thought so. I thought you'd get a half metre of each of them. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You'll get, I mean, look at them. They're gorgeous. One, two, three. Might become my counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. It's the Devon County collection. Uh, one hundred and eighty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. You get twenty. Oh, you get eleven meters. You get eleven meters of fabric. Just wondering. I can't imagine they give you a meter of one. Okay, there they all are. So I'm just checking, I'm just going through it now. Green one. No, no, I'm just seeing which one's not in the picture that I haven't got here. Yellow one. Anyway, you get all of those. You get all of those. There they all are, look. They're beautiful, aren't they? No, no, we, we, we could only presume that she sent it directly to you, you see. 186 pounds and 99 pence. 11 metres. Obviously, there's another, you'll get an extra pattern. You will get one extra pattern you're seeing here. But it's incredible. Now, it's from, uh, the Devon County collection is from the Quilters of the British, uh, the, the um, Great British, no, hang on, to the Quilters, you, oh, my brain, my brain, my brain, of Great Britain. Guild, the, the um, Quilters Guild of Great Britain. And what they did is they've got all these gorgeous old quilts they take on tour around the country. There's no museum anymore. You can't go to a museum. They go on a tour around the country. And they've created all these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. And we had them to make, we had a bundle to make the quilt, but this is the mega bundle where you can, oh, right, now. This is a little bit like the quilt I had with Angie the other day, isn't it, right? Um, I don't want to add any undue pressure whatsoever we are not getting this again. And I've only got three of these bundles left. I've only got three. So remember, I don't want to add any undue pressure whatsoever. You get all 22 of those fabrics, half a meter of each, 186 pounds and 99 pence, one PMP of two pound 95, whether you've bought this and other things during the day. Uh, now, like the quilt I did with Angie the other day, I said, I'm not saying it's the last time you'll ever see it, but I had quite a few of those. Anyway, it went uh, da, 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 five, four, three, two, one, and they all sold out. So that the, uh, the quilt that I had with Angie the other day, you will never, ever, ever see again. That's the same with this. When these last three have gone, that is it. You will never see it again. So now, uh, what's happening is what always happens is people are popping it in their basket Remember, it's not yours till you check out. It's not yours till you check out. They're beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, oh, right now, I'm not going to waft it, am I? Because this is a metre, and you only get half. Let me show you what half a metre looks like. So you will get at half a metre. 
in the bundle. There you go. That's what you'll get. Of each fabric, you'll get half a metre. I don't know why I've suddenly got a metre in the middle of there, but there you go. So that's what you get. You get half a metre of all your fabrics. Beautiful, isn't it? That's lovely. And each of them got a name. Each of them have a name. No, it normally has the name on the, on the thing. It has got the name on the... Um, what did you say it was Margaret? Oh, yeah, there it is, Margaret. That one's Margaret. That one's Margaret. They've all got a real... They've all just been given beautiful names. Now, they're not copies of the original fabric. They're not... If you see the original medallion quilt that these are take, inspired by, they're not copies of the original fabric. They're kind of inspired by. So these fabrics aren't copies of the originals. They're just kind of inspiration too. But they've all got... Like, this one is called Robin. That's a red robin, right? And then this one here is blue robin. There's an Audrey. There's a... Um, oh, there's lots of different names. There's not a Paul, I don't think. There's a Jane. There is a Jane. Okay, right, I've now got two left. I've now got two of these left. If you... Yeah, one's been confirmed. Several in baskets, but one's been confirmed. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. There are 22. There are 22 there. You'll get one more than you're seeing on the table. Just for a go, can we, could we show the still again? Because that, that's obviously... Look, there are all the fabrics you're going to get there. There's 22 fabrics, half a metre of each. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? And really lovely quality. Gorgeous quilting weight cottons. Re Shall I show you this? What, just one, one last minute, one last time. Let me just show you this. Ugh, God, it's heavy. Ugh. Just what they could look like together. What they, when you put the fabrics together, this is what they could look like. Inspiration. Obviously, in the mega bundle, you're only getting half a metre of each. And when we did the quilt um, bundle, we did the right amount of fabric for all the different... Um, section, but just all together give you a bit of inspiration. Oh, that would look lovely on my bed. It, oh, right, there's only one left. There's only one left now. Do you know what? If we sell that one, then this quilt's got no reason to be apart from to be in my bedroom. That would look lovely in my... I might, ta I might take it home and put it on my bed just to see what it looks like. Just to see what it looks like. There is only one left, remember. There's only one of those left now. Oh, I've got another thing on this side. Do I take this with me? All right, I'll take this one with me then. Shall I do this next then? This, now. Oh, I haven't got the, I haven't got, could you get Chris to get me? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Have you got a picture of the quilt that we had the other day, the, the, the farmhouse quilt that we did with Angie? Um, basically, we had this amazing quilt that Angie uh, did the other day. Well, she'd done it t twice before. She'd done it once, um, Victoria Peter done it once. Um, we did this amazing quilt. Sold out, sold out, sold out. But this is a fat quarter bundle that the... What it was, was the people, the people who um, had sold the, fab, the, the fabrics, they cut the whole... all of the pieces for us, which is how I know we can't get it for you again, because they cut them all for us, especially. We said, we're running out, running out. They said, what we... This, this one, this one, this one, right? So we said, oh, what can we do then? They said, well, we've got some fabrics like it, so what they did was they created this fat quarter bundle for us. Now, the reason this one's looking a bit messy is because I've already opened this one. Um, so I'll get, I'll get them out again and show you what you get. You get 10 fat quarters. You get 10 fat quarters in here. And this is how, how they arrive. This is how they arrive. This is how they arrive, right? Chris keeping his eye on me now to make sure I don't rip the bag again. So you get all of these fat quarters. Now, these are beautiful, traditional. I'll keep that one to one side there. Real traditional colours, which is you get the four of the red ones, uh, five of the red ones, sorry, and five of the uh, creamy ones. So there are your five red ones. These are your five creamy ones here. This is how yours will come, obviously, all in this uh, presentation pack. So lovely as a present, really gorgeous as a present. But then look at this one here. I love this one. It's kind of got a border in it. Isn't that lovely? 
So that's the way the fabric would have been if they'd bought it on the roll, because that's the selvages on the side there. So it would have been a stripe going down the middle. Really, really lovely, isn't it? So you're getting 10 fat quarters in here. We didn't do the ironing, just, just so you know. This is how it came from the manufacturer, so Chris can't get shouted at. Uh, it was flying out the other day. Got a few left today. Flying out the other day. So you get five of the reds, five of the creams, all very traditional. Ten fat quarters. Beautiful, aren't they? £39.99. £39.99. Remember, it's not yours until you check out. But you know that. Brand new it was on Wednesday. OK, the Devon County that I just showed you, there's, there's, there's one bundle left, one mega bundle left. And Sean has just messaged in saying, still not finished, John, but it's the most glor... Oh, look. Oh, do you know what? Look, she's also done that. Look at the one next to it. Trip around the world. Trip around the world next to it. Oh, my. Sean, I'm coming round your house. Where does Sean live? Oh, Sean, they're lovely. That looks, like, that looks like here, doesn't it? Like when we have the big one at the back there. And the, oh, they've taken this away. We normally have the, the, the uh, trip around the world there, don't we? Folded there. Sean, brilliant. So there's only one of those left, those Devon counties, remember? Uh, and we well, I'm, I don't want to sound like another shopping channel. I don't want to sound like, you know, like a normal shopping channel because we're not a normal shopping channel, but there's only one left and we are not getting it again. Just so you know. Back to this. You're loving this. Uh, five, five red ones and five beige ones. How many have I got in stock then? 39 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, what do you mean? Remember, uh, if you're a new buyer and you buy this as your first purchase today, you get a free peasant look. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to fill anything in, you just uh, get that automatically. In a way, I'd, I mean, I know we have to tell you, but I, I'd quite like not to tell you about that. So when you go in this arrived at your house, there'd be a pair of scissors in there as well. There was a free gift in there as well. Mind you, what a lot of, if it was me, I'd then be ringing, going, oh, you put someone else's scissors in my, <laughs> like really ungrateful. But, Oh, our Sonia's just sent a message. Morning, John. Gorgeous quilt. I hope to quilt that one one day. Nasson, that's the only one we've got left. So unless you've already bought the bundle, that's the only one we've got left of the mega bundle. Uh, quick, 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 quick last look. I know it's a bit messy, but there you get five red. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now, the reason on the picture, because it looks a bit weird, doesn't it, that there's, some are little and some are big, that's because that, that's how it comes in the parcel. That's how it comes in the package. And then Bex has just taken a picture of the package. Right. Oh, now, I've got Titan and I've got Bijou to show you now. Oops, I'll move Titan up. No, I'll move Titan out of the way. No, no, we should do Titan. If it's all right, Paul, we should do Titan first, because when Titan is sold, You'll never see that again. Whereas Bijou is our new collection core that we'll always have, like we have Spectrum Solid, Spot On, things like that. But Titans, once they're sold, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. So I've got Camel and I've got Green and I've got Blue. So this is the Camel collection. It's a bundle, it's a bundle. You get half a metre of each one. So what you get here is circle fabric, dashes fabric, double lines fabric, spiral dot fabric, and squares fabric, all in camel. So that's squares, that's dash, that's spiral dot, that's circles, which only leaves... Oh. Yeah, hang on, hang on, I can't remember which one I said. Hang on, so that, that spiral dot, that one. Then I've got two dashes. Oh, no, double lines, that's double lines, double lines. That spiral dot, that square. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, you get all of them. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You get all of them anyway, don't you? There they are, half a metre of each. Now, obviously, if you buy two of these bundles, you want five metres, you'll get five metres of fabrics, but you will get two half metres of each of the fabrics. They're lovely, aren't they? They're, they're going to tone beautifully and team beautifully. Lovely blender fabrics. But these are the Titan range. Once they've sold out, They've sold out, they've gone. Uh, 
Lovely. Now imagine they can go with every colour. Camel goes with... Think of a colour that they will not go with. You can't. You can't think of a colour that Camel does not go with. It looks brilliant with every single colour. No, you can't, Paul's thinking. Paul's thinking. Can't think of it. OK, so that's the Camel one. So I've now got Cornflower Blue in the Titan. This is nice as well. They're lovely. And even though they're all called Cornflower Blue, they're all different blues, but they all tone beautifully. Again, two and a half metres. £34.49. So you get the squares, the dots, the double dashes, the spiral dots, the stitches. They're lovely, aren't they? I love how bright and fresh the colours are. So it's exactly the same fabric, exactly the same prints as the um, camel ones, but in the cornflower blue. Nice, though, isn't it? Okay, I don't have as many of the blue ones as I have of the camel one. I seem to remember um, that we went through a phase recently where everything, every time we showed a new fabric, the blue one sold out first. Then now it's moved to green. Green, green is suddenly, I think it's because we're all sick of winter and we all want the fresh, yesterday afternoon when the sun was shining in the field behind in the garden, I think it just looked so lovely. All the daffodils bobbing around like that in the garden. Okay, so that's the cornflower blue one. Then, Green. Well, it, this one's more of a sage than a, a spring green, isn't it? Oh, they've called it moss. Isn't it weird? You spend a fortune having the moss removed from your lawn, wouldn't you? Yeah, this is that little... Everyone, when I tell everyone about this, because it's one of my dinner time stories, Titan Moss, that's what little Paul's going to call himself. And everybody presumed he was going to have a new career. 34... No, not secret agent, Paul. No, not a secret agent name. Imagine Titan Moss. They're going to know the minute you walk through the door. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, remember the, the Devon County, there's only one left. There's only one left. So, in the moss, you get the same patterns, but in that lovely sage. That's same country kitchen to me. Not that, take that one out. That's same country kitchen to me. Green is going to be the most popular, and at the moment it's the most limited as well. So please be careful. Please, please, please be careful. Gorgeous, aren't they? Now remember, if you do multi-buy, they don't come joined together. So you get two half metres of each of the fabrics. Just so you know. I've got green. I've got, I've got a green bundle in my um, bijou as well. Sean. Oh, I won't read this one out, Sean, because I don't want people... I live, I live in near the New Forest. I'm in the process of making the farmhouse one now. Sha oh, Sean, you're a super quilter. Oh, oh how lovely. What, now, Sean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do with them all? What are you going to do with them all? Because... Um, my friend Dulcie is on a film at the moment, filming in Cardiff, and she messaged me and she goes, oh, where can I buy all these quilts from? So I don't know if they need... Them. No, I'm not saying yours, Sean. And I said, all the ladies I've met, you know, like at the Chipping Camden Lady Quilters, when I was at the um, Sewing for Pleasure, they don't sell them. They, they gift them, or they have them in their house and they're for their family and everything, which I don't blame them after all that work and everything. But I need to ask, don't I? Uh, anyway, if you want to send in a picture of your uh, quilts or your uh, uh, pro pro projects or your UFOs. Here we go, studio at sewingquarter.com. That's the only way you can get a picture to me. You can't get a picture any other way to me, unless you send it in the post, but it'll be a bit late then, won't it? Okay, let's move on to Bijou now. Now, Bijou is our new, in our new, it's our new range, right? Now, this will be, you can buy, we've done bundles, but you can buy all these individually. You can buy all these individually on the web. Uh, but have a look at these. Have a look at these. So these... So this is foliage, they're calling this one. So you've got uh, arrow evergreen. Yep. You've got pennant asparagus. You've got pennant eucalyptus. So they must be the pennant ones there. Uh, petal vetiver. 
you've got pyramid water mint, and you've got V fatigue. Vetiver is a herb, but you can, um, Guerlain make it as a, an aftershave. They do Habit Rouge, which I love, and Vetiver, which I absolutely adore. Anyway, so you get six half metres there, three metres in total. Oh, look at the price, £29.49. pence. thought it was going to be more than that. Three metres. Nice, and let's call that one foliage. So you've got um, evergreen asparagus, eucalyptus, vetiver, water mint, and fatigue. Fatigue must be the, uh, that one there. Nice, aren't they? Half a metre of each one. It's, uh, now, this will become our core stock. If you don't want a whole bundle, you can buy them by the half metre as well. Check the website. Well, I was going to say that, but they might have been taken out for this. I'll just check later, check later, check later. Okay. So, so that's foliage there. I'll put foliage over there. Next. Berry. Berry. This is nice. Lovely colours in here, isn't it? Look. Have a look at those. Gorgeous colours there. So we've got heather, masala, Lilac, raisin, French rose, and cherry. Oh, right. Devon County is sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. You will never see the Devon County Mega Bundle ever again. Okay, so if you did have it in your basket, you've missed out. It's, got, it's actually physically, they all three have gone now. All three have sold. Now, I don't know, I, I, we haven't got any of the meters by half meters, have we, or, or have we? We, basically, we haven't got the Mega Bundle again. That's it. Just the Mega Bundles have all gone. Right, here we go. So these are the Bijou Berry Tonal Fabrics. £29.49. and pence. I've still got Sean's last message here. At £29.49. They're lovely colours, aren't they? Rich, rich colours. Um, so uh, you've got all those lovely uh, reds and purples. What's it say? Ah, oh. your message doesn't come through, but she says her, her fabric, are, uh, her fabric, her family are all very minimalistic, and she loves. They think she's a bit crazy and potty, so she has them all draped everywhere around. That's oh, how lovely, Sean. That they look gorgeous. Anyway, Bijou Berry Tonal, twenty nine pounds and forty nine pence. £29 and foot and pence. £29 and 49 pence. So, uh, just to reiterate, you won't see a Devon County mega bundle again. Some of, some of the fabrics are available by half metre, so we may bring you, in the future, we may bring you mini bundles, but there are no mega, bu there are no mega bundles left. Okay. Ocean is next. Oh, that's unusual. Well, no, I wouldn't have called that one ocean, I don't think. I'd have had more blue in ocean. Blue. Oh, no, I can see blues in it, but it's not oceanic. It's not like um, Caribbean. It's more like Bogner Regis. No, that sounded awful. I like Bogner Regis. I like Elmer Sands. Yeah, um, right. Oh, well, it's green in El Elmer Sands. It's green, isn't it? Right, so we've got uh, sky. No, dusky sky. Dusty sky. Deep teal. Carolina. Prussian. Uh, wintergreen. And celeste. So it's more skies. That's more about sky than it is water, which I would agree with. I would agree with skies, because that's a, like a London topaz, London blue topaz, that one, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that. I think they're gorgeous colours, though. Really, really lovely colours. Oh. Oh, right. Someone has, someone has changed their mind about the Devon County, so there is now still one available. Which is your total... That's your prerogative. That is your prerogative totally. 
Don't mind talking, someone else along the line will want it. So just so you know, one, one person has decided against the, um, there it is, the Devon County. Now, I think we left that one in, one in, there was one in somebody's basket. That person still wants it. It's still been in their basket, maybe. Just say that to me again, little boy. I didn't understand what that meant. OK. There's still one available, though, now. Somebody changed their mind, which is absolutely fine. We don't mind at all. Uh, ring the call centre. Ring the call centre. Right. So what's this one called, then? I'm imagining it's called Blush, but I don't know. Oh, it is. Dear me. So again, you get three metres of fabric, half a metre of each. What you get here is peachy, crimson, cotton candy, grapefruit, uh, Sedona, and sweet potato. It's not nowhere you know, near lunchtime yet, either, is it? Twenty-nine pounds and forty-nine pence. Hmm. Twenty-nine pounds and forty-nine pence. What are you talking about? Okay. Bijou blush tonal fabric bundle, three meters. Like I say, peachy, crimson. I wouldn't say there was a crimson there myself. Very popular, this one. Cotton candy, grapefruit, Sedona, and sweet potato pie. Well, it's not called pie, it's just called sweet potato. Pyramid sweet potato. I'm presuming that one, it must be that one there, is it? That one must be sweet potato. OK, I'll move that, oh, sorry, I'm moving that one across. Am I going over there, did you say? Oh, well, in a sec. Kathy sent an email. Hello, John. I've started quilting again after 40 years and started with two lap quilts. These are, no, with that quilts. These are my first two. Love sewing quarter and all the inspiration. Best wishes to everyone from Kathy. Oh, thank you, Kathy. They're love. Oh, we've got half square triangles there as well, look. Or oh, they flying geese. No, half square triangles. Oh, nice. Remember, you can send in an email of your, um, of your um, favourite uh, pictures. Now, talking to mega bundles. This is brand new. This is brand new, we only launched this this week. Now, obviously, the Mega Bundle isn't the bundle to make this quilt. It's not the bundle to make this quilt, but this is all the fabrics. No, these are all the blue tonal fabrics together. There are enough pink tonal fabrics to make the equivalent in pink. Now, I need to tell you, there's a free pattern for this. There's a free pattern for this. If you go to our Facebook page, or my Facebook page, I've added the link. It's not, we, it's not on our website. It's not on our website. It's on the Liberty. Well, it's not even the Liberty. It's the people who supply Liberty's website. And when we did the um, last one, they did a free um, pattern. Loads of you have downloaded it already, because I put it up on my Facebook page yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? And loads of you've downloaded it already. So, I mean, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? That's the blue, that's the blue version. Right, but we did, ha oh sorry, we did have somewhere a picture of the pink version as well, but it seems to have got lost in the ether. Look at what you get. Now, this bundle, this bundle isn't the bundle to make that. This is just the mega bundle of all the different fabrics. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, were you not with me and Jenny Smith then? No, it wasn't. Must have been Wayne. Must have been Wayne. Oh, so Wayne's going to have the pitch. Anyway, 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 don't worry. These four are called Forget Me Not. Forget Me Not in four different colourways. You get half a metre of all of these, remember? So you get four different colourways. They're called Forget Me Not. These are called Cosmo. Sorry. They're called Cosmo. Now, these are called Shadow. Uh, Daisy Shadow, I think it's called. Yeah, little Paul will have it upstairs, but I'm just rem remembering the ones that I remember. That is Daisy Shadow, isn't it? Because what it is, is it's that fabric, or this fabric, right? But only the shadow of that fabric. See what I mean? It's the same pattern, but just the shadow of it. Then we've got... Oh, now, my brain's not going to work now. 
I know that was icy blue. I remember that one being called icy blue. Little Paul's just looking out for me now. No, this, this is country path. This is country path. Hang on a sec. This is country path. That one and that one are called country path. Hang on. This one's called uh, vine. Was it just plain vine? Vine in the red and the pink. Yeah, little vine. Then we've got what? Dun Cosmos, yeah. Uh, right, hang on a sec. Th this is Cottage Lane in the blue and the pink. They're lovely, they look gorgeous, they're bored. And they're not what you typically think of as Liberty Fabrics, are they? So that's that one. So now I've got, what was the next name? I've only got two I haven't done. Oh, this is Lord, Lord, uh and what's that, what's the other one that I haven't done? No, just the, the one name that we haven't done yet. No. One of these is, this one's Morning Dew. This is Morning Dew in the pink, the icy blue, the pink, the uh, denim blue, and the darker pink. And then this one's Lawn Games. I did all right. There's only two I couldn't get. Lawn Games. You get half a metre of all. Now, last time I did this bundle, I cannot tell you how many we sold. It absolutely flew out. Now, all of these fabrics are available at that, by the half metre as well, while stocks last. But this is our brand new collection. Oh, look, hasn't it? they haven't even put the, me the name of the collection in the graphics. Beautiful. Isn't it called Country Cottage? The range. They haven't put the range in the graphics, look. No, no, no. This is all one range. This is all one range. I did the launch this week for it. Gorgeous, isn't it? £190.99 for 12 metres of Liberty Fabric. Oh, now, the other thing I've got to point out, if you're new to us, these are not Tarna lawns. These are not Tarna, they're the same kind of pattern, they're the same patterns, but they're not Tarna lawns. They're quilting weight cotton, or dressmaking weight cotton, or furnishing weight cotton. They're not a lawn, they are a good sturdy cotton. Machine washable. Uh, 44 inches wide and just beautiful. Traditional, traditional, all taken from traditional uh, Liberty prints from the 30s and the 40s. Beautiful, isn't it? Go to, if you go to, if you go to Liberty, it'll tell you on Liberty. Stunning, isn't it? Liberty Mega Fabric Bundle. 190 pounds and 99 pence. But as I say, they're all available while stocks last. They're all available by the half meter as well. Because on this quilt, if you see here, the whole of the back, you see, is made of that one. Morning dew in the, in the kind of, it could be denim or cornflower. They, they blues all have different names to them. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. See, now you've got people putting it in their basket. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. It's gorgeous. So uh, half a metre of each. Cottage garden. Yeah, that's what I said. Cottage garden. Yeah. Cottage garden. That's what I said. Beautiful. Now, what, what um, Jenny did when she made that one is she teamed all the blue and cream ones together. You know what? She's ordered 100 metres of this one for herself. That one and, yeah, that one and that one. She's ordered 100 metres for herself of those two. Remember, there's one of the Devon County left at the bottom of your screen there. One of those left, but this is the Liberty Mega Bundle. Say that again. Oh, yeah, that's Morris, yeah. Uh, now, the pattern for this, we haven't got the pattern for this anymore. This was the same day that we made the quilt. All of the fabrics from here, or not a lot of the fabrics there. Okay, that's foundation paper piecing. And it's a, Jenny's own pattern. And um, she did that on the show. One, one, we introduced the fabric on the first day, and then she made that one on the second. So that must have been Wayne, I do apologise for. That, uh, for what? No, 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 it's definitely sold out. It's definitely, definitely, definitely sold out. Morris the Mouse is definitely, definitely sold out. Beautiful, isn't it? 
Absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see any of them together, because even though they all go together, if you want to see, if you're thinking, oh, I only want, if, you, if you're not going to get the mega bundle and you're going to buy them by the half meter, you might want to see them together at this juncture. This is lovely because what they've done is they've added a gorgeous kind of olive tone into this one to make it a little bit more contemporary. You see that and that, oh, sorry, do that again. That and that and that and that are all Cosmos. They're all the same design, just in different colors. It's lovely. Anyway, as I said, I'll just show you this again. This, isn't, this obviously isn't the bundle to make the quilt, because obviously you'll need to go to find the free. Oh, oh actually, yes, if you go to, the, if you go to the, the Sewing Quarter Facebook fan page or go to my page, there's a link to the free pattern. This is the one with all the blue tones. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, that is just lovely. Isn't it? It's brand new range, brand new collection. We only launched it a couple well, last week. Must have been. I, I tell you when it was. When was the bank holiday? Because it was Wayne that was on, wasn't it? And he did the bank holiday with me. So it must have been two weeks ago. Two weeks ago now, because it's Friday. Today. I'm very confused about my um, my days. So. Oh, got an update about Devon County. Oh, right, we could do some of them by the half metre in a moment. They're there now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's the Liberty one. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets on there. They're gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, if you're, if you're thinking um, the Mega Bundle is... I know it's a considered purchase, a bit out of my range, I won't, or I only want certain fabrics. Well, I'm now going to offer you... Now, some of these are going to be incredibly, incredibly, incredibly limited. Did it? Oh, up there. Right. Devon County. Right, here we go. This one's called Matthew. Now, obviously, yeah, by, it's by the half metre. Obviously, I'm going to waft a metre. That's the difference. So this is Matthew. You see, there might be some of these fabrics you just want on their own. You might be, I don't want the mega bundle, I just want... They, these are made by the Quilters Guild collection of Quilters Guild of Great Britain. Or I think it's called something like, they call themselves the, of the British Isles, that's what they call themselves. Um, so it's really, really, really beautiful quality cotton. £8.50 for half a metre. So I'll just show you what half a metre... Isn't that lovely? That's what you get for your half... Oh, can we just go out a little bit just so you can see what you get for your half metre? There you go. I'll hold it up, hold it up. There you go. That's what you get for your half metre there, just so you know. It's £8.50. Beautiful. Remember, if you already bought something today, it's 1 PMP. No matter how many times you check out during the day, it's only 1 PMP. So that's that one. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. I'll let you carry on. Yeah. Next is this one. Did we find the other one? This is Mark. Going a bit crazy on your screen, that one. The reason is... Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's Mark. What time is it? Oh, blimey, it's 10.39. Better get a move on. And I've got Margaret coming out, which is the one I highlighted earlier. This is Margaret. I won't open them all out this time. I'll just show you like this. Margaret's a little bit more limited. £8.50, £8.50, but, oh yes, it just doesn't matter. Yes, exactly, we'll forget though, we won't, because we'll forget. Yes, you will. Robin, Red Robin. In fact, I'll jump to, after this, I'll jump to Blue Robin. Yep. Oh, sorry. 
red robin. It's kind of more of a rust, isn't it, than a red. OK, then, then I've got blue robin. Oh, no. This is where I might, have, might confuse you next. That's blue robin. Right, limited, limited, limited. Remember, we're not getting this again. Once it's all gone, it's all gone. It's beautiful, isn't it? OK. Right. Well, I'll just I'll go for this one next, which is like little triangles, red triangles in a white box. I can tell you the name if you want. Catherine, you've got a picture to look at. Eight pound fifty for half a metre. Remember, some of these are very limp. Some have sold out. Remember, so the whole collection. I haven't got the whole collection. Some have sold out. Some are very, very, very limited. Now I've got this one, which is William. Will I am? It's nice that one. I like this one. I think this is gorgeous. This one. Look, very traditional green. That one, isn't it? That's the William fabric. It's gorgeous quilting weight. Then I've got this one, which I, when I did this last time, I don't remember seeing this. It's called Heather, this one. I don't remember seeing this one, you see, look. You see, now, if I was just to show you that, you wouldn't think of it as a, as a traditional quilting fabric, would you? I mean, it's inspired by the, by the original fabrics, remember? £8.50 for half a metre. OK. Sorry I'm going through these quickly, but they'll all be appearing underneath me there, so you can look at them later. Uh, then this one is called Dorothy. Friends of. Oh. That's nice, isn't it? Like a little ditzy print, that one. That's very traditional. In fact, a, they've used lots and lots and lots of this in the actual quilt that I showed you a minute ago. It's all, the whole of the big star in the middle is made of that, OK? Now I've got, oh, same fabric in a different colour. Dorothy in fawn. What was that one then? Dorothy in brown. So this is Dorothy in fawn. I haven't heard that word for ages. Fawn, I used to wear a lot of fawn when I was a child, apparently. Well, it was the 70s, wasn't it? So fawn, like little, not little Mike, like ginger Mike, he wears a lot of fawn and browns. He, um, he's made a mistake today. He thought it was summer. He didn't bring his coat. And he's like, I'm so cold, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. And we said, why didn't you wear it? Well, it didn't go with my outfit, did it? He's only worn it all winter. Is this Donald? Donald, where's your trousers with a hidey high and a holdy home? Right, limited, limited, limited. We've only got 11 metres, this one left. Eight fifty for half a metre. Right, now I've got this one in... Oh, they're both together in two different colours. This is Audrey, Lady Audrey. So this is Audrey in... What colour is this one? Yellow. Yellow. It's, it's more of a... It's not a yellow. I'd say it was a sandstone, a Cotswold sandstone, I'd call that one. It's lovely, though, isn't it? Very, that's a very, very true. It's almost like parchment, the background, isn't it? Then I've got Audrey in, I don't know if they called it purple or lilac, in purple. Oh, yeah, it does look like, like my shirt. My shirt's a bit faded, and so is this. It's not faded. It's uh, made to look like that. We haven't left it in the sun. My shirt's just old. Devon County purple ultra. I'm ancient, yeah. I think the next one's called Jane, without me looking at the selvage. It is. It's like, I thought they were chilli peppers, but they're little leaves. Now I've only got 10 metres, this one left. Only got 10 metres, this one left. Now, I know you'll be sitting at home going, oh, 10 metres, that's loads, because if you go to your local haberdashery store, 10 metres is a lot. But if you think about how many thousands of people now watch us and follow us, 10 metres between thousands of people is not much, is it? OK, then I've got this sprig design, which I'm going to change the order, because I've got this in two colours. 
So I've got, uh, is it Kimberly? Yep. It's, I only know one, the yellow, yeah, yellow Kimberly this. I've only got, I only know one Kimberly and I don't like her very much. It's cute though, isn't it? This fabric is nothing like the Kimberly that I know. Except she's got, Kimberly who I don't like very much, she's got to get in a new career. Good luck to her. No, I'm, I think, even now, just because we don't get on, just because she hates me with a passion, doesn't mean I'd wish her unwell. Right, now I've also got Kimberly in pink. I only got a few more of the Devon counties left to show you. And I've got some book, books and I've got some threads. And don't forget that lovely fat quarter bundle, which was new this week, the red and the biscuit one. Okay, this one's called Mary. Has it got a hedgehog on it? Let me have a look. I have got my glasses on, hang on. Oh yeah. It's got a hedgehog. Can't you see the hedgehog in blue? It's not a hedgehog. Okay. Then I've got, oh, I don't know what this one's called. Christine. Christine, Christine. It's Phantom of the Opera, that. I only got six metres of Christine left. They're like, that's a bit unfair, that, isn't it? It's like a mountain that you climb, and then you get to the top one and think, oh, there's another one now. And then another one. And another one. You have to climb down. You have to be careful. You hit your bottom on the... Oh! This is a little bit of a... This is a James HR. I've only got five metres of HR left. You'll be in today, won't you? What day is it? Oh, no, Friday. It was in yesterday. It was only in for ten minutes yesterday, apparently. Little Paul said that the HR department was only open for ten minutes yesterday. Right? Now, this one's cute. This is Annie. That was on the radio as I came in this morning. Are you okay, Annie? By the Jacksons, I think it was, wasn't it? I only got four metres of that. Oh, it looks like two people about to kiss. No? Can nobody else see that? I can see two people about to have a kiss. They've got big hair, and they're both wearing the same outfit. No, they're about to go like that. Like that. That's how they've got Norman and Nelly to kiss these. Susan! Susan! Don't know why you're making a sad tune, little Paul. No, for you. Five metres of Susan. Oh. Oh, that's the right way up. That's the right way up. I thought it was the wrong way up. OK, that's it. Devon County done. Uh, if you like it, uh, um, go, if, you haven't, if you haven't bought any just now, go and look underneath me there and you'll see. So I've still got one mega bundle of that left as well. Oh, I thought we were going to that. OK. Oh, I like this. Quilt Traditions by Devon Levine. Now, Devon's a boy's name, isn't it? Look. Only because I've got a friend called Devon. He's a boy. Twelve in... Oh, they're, they're log cabins and courtyards, courthouse steps, those, aren't they? Twelve inspirational cab... Uh, not cabins, the quilts. But you know what it is? You know what's... Look at all the templates. Is they're all very, very... That's called Little Black Dress, that one. They're all very, very traditional looking, aren't they? But if you were to make them, mad housewife. Is that the one Lucy Benjamin's making? Uh, Lucy Benjamin. Blimey, Lucy Benjamin. I haven't seen her for years. It's my friend Lucy. She used to be in um, EastEnders. She shot Phil Mitchell, that Lucy. Um, Lucy Brennan's making one a bit like that. Uh, it was about 20 years ago she shot him. Uh, look, Pepper. He pulled through. Oh, no, because I think he's about to be trying. Somebody's going to try and kill him tonight, I think. Uh, potion. It's a soap. It's not real life. The Mister. Aren't they gorgeous? Really lovely, lovely patterns and all the prints and everything that you need. Twenty-three pounds and nine ten pence. That's quilt traditions. Third, uh, twelve. Sorry, twelve striking projects with nine skill building techniques. Now, this tradition, talk about tradition, this is a fat quarter bundle that only came this week, uh, Wednesday, on our eight-hour spectacular day. 
Uh, you get five biscuit and f oh biscuit and five red. Lots of you got that in your basket. There you go. There's your fat quarter. I've got no messages. Oh, they've got Mo now. Oh, she says, our local hospice got lots of lovely quilts in all sorts of sizes, and I think our local quilting group donate them. Yes, I think that's what happens. Rather than people selling them, I think on the whole, people donate or gift quilts, don't they? Because the quilting, um, I was going to say fraternity, community is very, very lovely and giving, isn't it? Lovely, a lovely community. Beautiful. Okay. Now I can smell a lovely rose, like, you know, like a rose scent. Maybe someone's come to visit me, hang on. No, I think somebody's come to visit, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Had an email from Sarah while I'm wafting. Uh, here we go. In Surrey, hi, John, great show. This is my, <gasps> this is my Dresden plate quilt made with Visleen Wadding. I'm very happy with this quilt. I'm not surprised, it's gorgeous. Off work on holiday and chilling, watching sewing quarter. Oh, oh, Sarah, thank you. Whereabouts in Surrey are you? Because I used to live in Twickenham, and obviously it's just across the bridge from Richmond, isn't it? Lovely. Brilliant. Uh, let's, go, let's go and have another look at the Liberty, um, Liberty um, Mega Bundle, if that's right, because it's brand new. Been here for about, well, it must be two weeks now. Two weeks it'll have been here. I love this collection. The other thing I meant to say to you is there, is there is another quilt which I forgot to pick up. If you've already got some fabric from the first range, these go beautifully with the first collection and also will go beautifully with the next collection that they're working on now. Um, because we, um, Jenny made a quilt and... Um, uh, uh, using some, some from this and some from the last range, and they look gorgeous together. So what you can do is do what Jenny did with the quilts that she made out of this range, either keep all the pinks or all the blues separate, or you just mix and match like we have done in this mega bundle. Remember, there's one Devon County left at the bottom. And then lots, lots of you got this in the basket. Okay, so we've got Morning Dew, are these, in the ice blue, the uh, pale pink, the denim or the uh, chambric or, or the cornflower, they used a, a denim, they used the different names for the same blue, and then the deep pink. Then we've got Forget Me Not here in the four different colours. Forget Me Not in the red, green and yellow. We've got the Forget, Forget Me Not with the denim blues. We've got the Fene that's beautiful, isn't it? It's soft and delicate. And then we've got the traditional Forget Me Not there. We've got Cosmos in four different colours because it is the Cosmos flower. That one, that one, that one, and that one. I, well, this one, I love this one, love this one. Then we've got Daisy uh, Shadow in the pink, in the dusky pink, in the blue. Uh, oh no, this is dusky pink, sorry. That was beige, that one beige, and then dusky pinks there. <clears throat> then we've got Lawn Games, is this one. And that just comes in the two colorways. Then we've got Country Pathway, which is gorgeous, isn't that? That's in the blue and the coral. Now my brain's gone. This one's called, not Country Pathway, it's called Cottage Lane. Comes in the pink and comes in the blue. Now this, if you look, that's on the border of here. Let me just show you here, look. So Jenny used it on the border of this one. And look how lovely that looks going around there. Okay. Then, uh, Little Vine, this one's called, I think, isn't it? In the blue. And the pink. And the pink. So I remembered all the names apart from that one, which one's that one called? Cottage Lane. Cut it down, I'll remember it now. Isn't that lovely? So the whole bundle, I know it's a considered purchase, I understand that completely. I'm not being glib, I'm not being, you know, it's 12 metres 
for £190.99. Remember, you only pay one PP for the whole day. It's lovely. I love all those colours. Beautiful fabrics. And they're quilting weight. They're gorgeous colours, gorgeous fabrics. Oh, OK. Lynn. Lynn in Suffolk. Paul's got your email about the next hour. Oh, OK. He's going to ask Joe in the break for you. Going to ask Joe in the break for you. Because remember, in the next hour, right now, if, let me just explain something to you. In the next hour, Joe's going to be making a, two versions of the lilac ballerina. We've still got a bundle to make the pink one, which she's already made before, but she's making a blonde haired and a brown haired one in a lilac tutu. Um, but we've also got in that hour um, a template for an embroidery of a ballet dancer. And we've also got a template to do an applique for ballet shoes, which we've put on a little ballet shoe bag. Um, but you can put it on anything, on a cushion, on a skirt, because lots of people like, you know, like, you know the wraparound skirts that you go to ballet in, like the little wraparound cards? It'd be nice to do an applique on the hem of that, wouldn't it? Little Paul did ballet at university, got a tutu. Thank you very much indeed. No, I'm not doing that one. Uh, but the answer is he fell off. Uh, anyway, oh no, fell into the sink. Uh, these gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. Liberty Mega Bundle, 12 metres, £190 and £99. Or, remember, there's one Devon County, one, it's only, we've only got, right, uh, Destiny and Fate, I talk about Destiny and Fate all the time. If, you're, if you kept, tuned in earlier, went, oh, I want that Devon County, and I was saying, sold out, sold out, sold out. Someone decides against it, which is absolutely fine. I'm not angry, it doesn't matter at all, because somebody else will want it. If you're thinking, oh, I really wanted that, there's now one available, that's it. One available, that is it. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. We have a very special deal for you today. For one day only, we'll be offering you a huge spend and save discount. When you spend £50, you will receive £5 off. When you spend £75, you'll receive £7 off. And when you spend over £100, you'll get an amazing £15 off. So, whether you need to add some more fabulous fabric to your stash, or just want to stock up on scissors and thread, make sure you take advantage of this incredible deal while it lasts. But hurry, this deal is only valid for 24 hours and will end at 8am on the 7th of April. For full terms and conditions, please visit the Sewing Quarter website. Happy shopping! Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best-selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year, featuring must-make projects, essential techniques, interviews, news and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue also comes with a free gift. Tune in on Monday the 9th of April when we're joined by brand new designer Julia Fallon. Julia is a dressmaker who creates her own patterns. With over 40 years of sewing experience, she now also runs craft workshops in her design studio. She will first be demonstrating her Bianca Cotigan at 9am. With its waterfall front, this comfortable wool jacket is a stylish must-have look to add to your wardrobe. At 11am, Julia will be showing us her Julia t-shirt. This boxy jersey top has two neckline choices and promises to be both simple and sophisticated. So tune in to meet Julia at 9am and 11am on Monday the 9th of April, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Skies Channel 678. On Thursday the 12th of April, we're joined by master quilter Lucy Brennan in the studio. Lucy will be making an all-stars mini quilt which was designed by Nicola Calver and was first seen in Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine. This brightly coloured mini quilt combines three classic techniques of flying geese, half square triangles and economy units to create a striking finish. Lucy will be showing us how to master this lovely quilt which is available in three colourways of pinks, purples and greens. So tune in to make a mini quilt that will create a big impact. Join us on Thursday the 12th of April at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678.
はい Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 and speak to our UK based call center to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. One of our most popular Joe Carter uh, dollies, soft toys, has been the ballerina. I think it's because it's, it's modelled on her, isn't it? You can so see, can't you, that it's her. Now, we've done it in pink in the past. I've got it in pink again today, but I've also got a brand new colour, which you have been requesting and asking for, which um, Joe's going to demonstrate in a second. So I'll just put her there a minute. Oh, no one. <laughs> I'll turn it that way. Not looking up, a, looking up a two two. So lilac. So I've got a lilac on here. So what you get here is you get one and a half meters of fabric. You get half a meter of nude for the body, half a meter of uh, spot on for the clothes, half a meter of lilac net uh, for the um, two two. You get embroidery threads in pink and black. You get sewing thread. Oh, do you get that colour sewing thread? I would have thought you got a lilac one. And you get the felt to make the hair. I'll just double check on what colour thread you get, because I don't think you get And you get the instructions. <laughs> Loads of you coming in. Loads of you coming in. Uh, can you just make one ballerina from the, from the kit? Oh, if you're clever, you might be able to get two. Clever, you might be able to get two. So that's brunette. That's brunette. And you get toy filling. It's on the picture. It's on the picture. It's on the picture. There you go. Uh, Chris, could you just check that that's the colour um, thread that you get with the lilac one? Oh, OK. I just think it's... A, oh, no, I suppose it would be for the flesh, wouldn't it? Yeah. And you get the toy filling. Loads of you. As always, loads of you there. Now... I'm just, I'm not going to say this more than once, right? When, no, I'm not. I'm not going to say it more than once because more, m so many people miss out on Joe Carter. They normally sell out in the first eight minutes, right? We've, we've, we've put so many together. You need to check out straight away. Whether or not you're thinking, oh, I want this, I want that, check out straight away because otherwise you can't guarantee getting it because they sell. We have got loads and loads and loads. It's brand new today, the lilac one. That's the lilac brunette one. I also have, oops, oh, uh-oh, right, we've also got it in blonde, we've uh, got it in blonde, there it is in blonde, it's exactly the same bundle, but with uh, yellow hair, blonde hair, these are really limited, these will have gone within seconds, they're going now, they're going now. OK, there it is. There's the blonde one. You, same thing, you get the nude for the for body, you get the lilac for the uh, little cardi, you get the net for the tutu, you get the embroidery thread, the sewing thread, the yellow felt, the super soft toy filling, and the instructions. Now, I've got fewer than 20. I now have fewer than 20. That's how quickly these have gone. I now have fewer than 20 of the blonde one. Of the blonde one. We're all right at the moment, aren't we, with the brunette one? But the blonde one, I've got fewer than 20. Just so you know. Just so you know. Now, while I'm over here, I'll just tell you about the pink one, which is this one. Now, I've only got the pink one with uh, brunette hair. I've only got this one. I haven't got the, brun the pink one with blonde hair, I'm afraid. The original one. Look, it's uh, on the pattern there. Uh, so you've got the leading lady, brunette. In pink, you get everything plus the stuffing and the instructions and the embroidery thread and the sewing thread and the uh, nude. You, you get the uh, pink polka dot for the top and you get the pink net for the tutu. Right, whilst I'm here, I'm just going to tell you about these quickly because then we want to concentrate on the ballerina. I've also got these two 
um, other little bundles here. Did Chris get an answer from Adele for me about this one? So this one here is, we've got, we've got a picture of the finished, um, finished thing. It's called the Arabesque Embroidery Bundle. Say so what? Yeah, with what? $9.99, so you get half metre of fabric, you get two embroidery threads, and you get the uh, template. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you get two embroidery threads and the template, that's right. $9.99. $9.99, so you can do that lovely little picture. So there you go, the template, the two embroidery threads and the fabric, $9.99. We also have now, if we have a look at, that's, that, that's for that. Now, have a look at the bag that we've made. Now, there's not fabric here to make the bag, there's just fabric here to make. These are very, very, very limited. Oh, private people. You haven't even seen it yet. No people in the basket. Right. See that bag there? We're not doing the bag. We're doing the applique that goes onto the bag. So what you get is you get a metre of fabric, the two pinks. Well, this is the template, right? This is the, te this is the, finished, this is the finished design here with all the numbers on. There's all the pieces that you need to cut out to make all of those. But you also get this. You get the bonder web. You get the embroidery thread, and you get the two half metres of fabric there. Two very subtle pinks there. On your telly, they might not look very different, but in real life, they are very different. $14.99. $14.99. Right, OK, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't need to take anything with me. Yes, I do. I need to take a pattern. Right. You ready, Joe Carter, because these are selling out very quickly? I am, I am. There she is. I'm talking to Joe. Oh, I thought we were going to do that. Never mind. Um, oh, you look very organised. <laughs> Why the shock? <laughs> <laughs> right. Is it, is it uh, in, in the scheme of things, where does it rate difficulty-wise with all... If people have made your toys before, your soft toys before? It's a definite intermediate. Intermediate. One. The, OK. Yes. The problem with this is fitting the legs can be a bit awkward. There are easier ways of doing it, and I'll go into those, but... Uh... OK, and you're, will you get that to that today, then? Well, I'll try. Go. Go. Okay. Right. The hair is a felt piece that's fitted on over. So we have the full face piece there. I'll just show you here first of all. You've got the instructions and all the pictures and all the cutting instructions are on the uh, and templates or everything. Everything you need are in the patterns. But, okay. So the hair is essentially okay. a plique panel that goes over the face. That right. fits on there. And you can draw on if you want with a pen, draw on the lines you want to add. I sort oh, of yes, sweep a... a little bit. Um, it secures the felt in place, but also adds a little bit of extra detail. To do that now, then? Like, like yes. you have done here? I've done these ones, the back head pieces. But as you see here, they're already quilted. Well, not quilted, but you've done your lines there. Would you do that at this stage before you do yes. anything else? Yeah. Prep this piece before yeah. we sew it. So these sections, and make sure it's handy to keep the template to hand, actually, to make sure these are fitting on the right way. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There's a little notch that corresponds with the top of the ear, so make sure that's on... This seam right. here, this yeah. will be the chin. So place them on. You could dab a bit of glue on if you wanted to hold so them in. So have you drawn your lines or are you just going to freehand it? I'm just going to freehand it. Okay. You must have... Have you made many of these? Cause, uh... I've made a few, not I was going to say, there's only one in... We've only got one here. Have we only got one here? Yeah. Maybe I've only made one then. Well, no, you've, no. Made, uh, you've got about 12 of them part made at home. Yes, I have got a few part made ones. I lose track a bit of what I've made. So I'm going around the edge to secure the edges, but also at this point, I'm just going to sweep it up to the top. This is where a water erasable pen's yeah, really so, so if you've drawn them on with your water erasable pen, you just follow the lines. Just fo yeah. Are the lines on the pattern? Or do you make no, them No, I don't think they are. I think they're just to make up. OK, so let's look very quickly. Oh, let's very, very quickly, of what, if you're wondering what we're talking about, look very quickly. On the front here, you just see the lines. So they go round the edge, but then there's little sweepy lines just going up like that. And then the back of the head is what the one that Joe just showed you. That's the back of the head they were scraped up. But the ones at the front that you're doing now, they're not on your pattern. You just need to make those up yourself. OK? But the felt tends to stay, it doesn't slip around too much. 
Is so that that trying to, the felt doesn't tend to... I've just placed it on. and then Oh, right, so yeah, but you could use a glue stick if you wanted to. You could. A, a Solan glue pen would be brilliant yeah. for this. There we go. You could almost do that in another colour, so she's got streaks, couldn't you? Yes. Highlights. Or... Oh, uh, uh, is it about the eyes? Yeah, we'll do that later. We'll do that later. Right, can I keep the instructions open? Oh, just, sorry. Just so I get it right. Oh, she's not made that many, then. <laughs> Have you got notes I made in yours? quite a few toys, though. No, no, I've not written on it or anything. OK, so I've done that. And next, I'll do the ears. OK. So here's one ear. There we go. And this, sometimes I have the front being wider, so you get a little fold in. But with these, it's just the same piece. Oh, OK, so there's no so little they're just fold. Flat in the... ears, yes. yeah. One on top of the other and just sew around the curve. They're a bit like uh, directly upside down ears, ears, aren't they? Do you think? I've tried to go for a slightly darker thread so we, my stitching shows up. Okay. But not too dark, so <laughs> I've put myself under pressure. But so you've bagged them out and now you stop. Oh no, no, you're just, you're just stitching around and going to bag it out now. Yes, and because it's a curve, I'm just going to clip V shaped notches okay. just to remove some of the bulk from around this curve. And then I'll turn that the right way out and just roll the seam to get a nice curve on the outside. OK. And then I'll base these into position on the ear. How do you know where they go on the head? There are markers on the template. So the ear, the oh, hair yes, extends yes, yes, yes. slightly down a bit. So the, the ear overlaps right. the end of the hair yeah. ever so slightly. And that helps if the ear does overlap. It means at the side, it doesn't matter if it doesn't line up perfectly because the ear's in between. Yeah, exactly. And you get away with that. Uh, lots and lots of new buyers. Remember, new buyers, you do get a free pair of scissors as your gift for shopping with us for the first time and spending over £10. Okay. Now, the face, on the face, there are, um, there's a dart at the top in the centre. Yeah. And then two on that, either that side. The, that's the dart in the top of the centre, yeah. And then these two little ones. Are they darts? The they are. And I know they're really small, and I know people probably don't like me for them. But it just gives that little bit of extra roundness to the face. And having them on either side rather than the centre. Well, in the middle, she'd look a bit... Yeah, it just gives a little bit more of a yeah. chin. OK. But they're actually bigger than they look, because you've just cut the notch out, but you're actually saying quarter of an inch away from that line. Again, yeah. a little tip there when you do those two darts, is draw your line in. Because you, when you see a little dart like that, you're always tempted to sew very, very tiny. But it's actually a quarter of an inch in from there, isn't it? It is. So if I fold that over, pop it in with the pen, we're still keeping a quarter of an inch. You see, so it's not as little as it actually looks. It's only because you've cut the notch out that it makes it look tiny, doesn't it? Yes, and that's why on my patterns, I markers i send them out that way just so they don't get confused with a dart right so darts go in notches go out yes okay so i marked it on the wrong side now i sew from the cut edge to the fold no i'm just going to make this up because it's all on the floor <laughs> i'm losing my tutu the tutu and everything's on. uh well, don't you want to wait for the pink top uh, the purple top to go on the lilac top to go on don't forget, this is the pink one, if you want the pink one. Uh, details at the bottom there. But there were less... Was, uh, was that the one I said there were fewer than 20? Oh, no, it's the, it's the blonde one that we're panicking about. And then I'm just going to base the ears into position. So front okay. of the ear to the right side of the face. Yeah. And they're in place then. Did you see on Facebook the person who'd made the ballerina, but had also made like a cardigan and they'd made like a little mermaid's tail. Yeah. So it was the same ballerina doll, but they changed, so they took the tutu off and put the mermaid's tail on or then put a little cardigan over the top of. It, it looks so gorgeous. Sorry, my, the machine just oh. had a bit of a chew. There we go. You all right? I'll base bobbin, is the bobbin spinning or something? I don't know whether there's a little knot in it. There we go. Oh, no, we're all right. That's one ear on. 
You could base these ends together before doing this. But, but you're so just putting small. it in flat, aren't you? It's just, just going in flat, yeah. Yes. And no, 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 um, there's nothing inside them, is there? No. If there's something tricky in a pattern, I would say this, I try to make it easier in other places. So I try to keep something else simple. Oh, okay, keep everything else simple. Lull them into a false sense of security and then go, here are the legs. <laughs> well, not quite that, but yeah. there we go. So that's okay. the base. Now, Done. in real life, would you be pressing anywhere along the line here? No, I never pre I've pressed the pieces before I cut them, the fabric before I cut them out. Yes. And if sometimes... But you don't, sew those, you don't press those darts in or anything like that? No. I mean, you can finger press them open, yeah. but once it's stuffed, it sort of pushes the darts out oh, and you of get course, it smoother yes, of course. anyway. It's not like dressmaking, is it? OK, so that's the front of the face. OK. So I'll pop that to one side while I do the front of the leotard. Oh, so you don't do the rest of the head then? Um, not according to these instructions. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so you've made the front and you've made the back of the head. So that's there and there, isn't it? Yes, because the neck joins to the body okay. before I put the face on. Right, okay. So? So the front of the leotard is separate to the body. It's overlaid on the body, so you can get a oh, finger no. in there. Oh, no, did you see that? Oh, well, I, I don't know if I can do that. Look. So it's overlaid. It's not actually part of it. Right, okay. And I did think about rouging that little bit, you know, like a leotard, but I thought maybe that was taking it too far. Yeah. Not all leotards are rouged, though. No. And I did have to fit it into 18 photographs. Little Paul says he put diamond. I don't, I'm a bit worried about Little Paul. He put diamonds on his. Look, so I've put these two, there are two pieces, one on top of the other, and yeah. I'm just going to sew them together around the yeah. V. When I, um, you, when I used to make um, costumes for Festival Ballet and Royal Ballet, they used to give me the beading to do, because you have to bead every single bead individually. You can't do a running stitch behind. <clears throat> no. Because you know when the, and they can't be here on the bodice. They can't be here where the male ballet dancer is going to hold the female ballet dancer. But if they fall off, and if they're all on one string, they'd all they'd come all falling go. off. And if if the ballet dancer break, I was I was liable for it. Oh, if they fell on the beads. If they if all the beads came off and they fell on them. <sighs> but that way, if, if anything happened, if one fell off, it was it was knotted separately to all the others, so the others wouldn't come off then. So how many would be on a? There were thousands, oh. there were thousands. And I tell you, oh, you won't be old enough to remember this. It was when Brideshead Revisited was on the telly the first time. And I sat in my little room, in my rented room, and all I had was a storage heater in the corner. I used to sit right next to the storage heater. And I had a telly that was that big. And I'd be watching um, Brideshead Revisited like that, in black and white. <laughs> so in, so in thing. Anyway. Brideshead Revisited is so sad. I don't think I made it through the whole series. I got bored. No. Right. So I've stitched them together around the V and then yes. snipped into the V, almost up to the stitching, but not quite. Right. And then I'm going to flip this round. You could press this with an iron, I won't, but uh, yeah. finger press these open. That's like dressmaking, isn't it? So you would do that if it was real dressmaking. If it was right? real, if it was serious sewing. <laughs> okay. So you've just made the front of the bodice. Yes. And then this goes over the body piece. Yes. I was going to say, it'd be really difficult if you were going to piece a little triangle as the neckline, wouldn't it? At least this way, you make a whole body piece and then that just sits on top of it. Yes, and I think it, it just gives it a little bit more substance as yeah. well. But piecing a V and then getting the V to lie nicely yeah. is a nightmare. So I won't OK, this. so that's the front of the outfit there. What's next? Um, and then I'm going to base that to the oh, sorry. body piece. Right. So it goes over the top. You could base these edges together to keep them together separately and then... And pop them over this, but that, I'll yeah. go for it all in one okay. to try and... Why did you just turn that over? Is there a definite way? Is it slightly Only different? Only because I've marked the centre on this side oh, okay. so you knew and the, the arms. Side. Okay. So I'll do it this way so then I can see yeah. those mark okay. markers in a minute. I might even pin this. Oh, I know. have you got any pins? Oh, yeah. Just in the corners to make sure yeah. it doesn't slide out of position. Just to warn you, these are all flying out of the door. The blonde uh, one in the lilac is very, very, very limited. So this is now being made into one pattern piece. Yes, yeah, I've got that. But you don't, you don't stitch around the neckline, you only stitch down the side seam round the bottom of the hem and back up the side seam again. 
Do you know what? Stupidly, I was about to say, oh, you've not cut any armholes in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking it was a real garment. There we go. I drifted off the edge a bit there, but let's pretend we didn't see that. Yeah, we didn't see that. OK, and then next bit, the back pieces are just the leotard fabric. So I'm just going to sew these in position just along the shoulders. Oh, like a proper garment. It's like open. a proper garment. Yeah, so you're just show, sewing the sh showing the shoulder seams. Sure, yeah, I am. I really should probably um, sew a real garment. Because it will probably It's a bit help. different to that. It will probably help my... Oh, this is the only toys. one I've seen you make clothes for. What's the other one? Apart from a bikini top for the mermaid, what yeah, other clothes have you done? I've not done any, really. Do That's... you do? Do you, you should, What you should do is for, like, the, not the bear in the bag, one of your toys, you should do a whole wardrobe of clothes for, really. It should, yeah. Oh, Paul said that was his idea. I've made... In the past, I've made toys wearing suits and things. Oh, OK. Yes, I've seen it. Alan Wicker had a suit on, didn't oh, Alan had a suit on, yeah. Um, did you get into trouble after the last show? For, um, for, uh, sorry, sorry, for me announcing something I shouldn't have announced. Nobody mentioned oh, that's it. Right. I, Nobody ho I hope it, I got away that's with it. it. Yeah. There we go. So that's the front, the upper body sewn together minus the arms. And right. now this opening here, I've not stitched right to the edge, right. just to allow me a little bit of freedom. Is that mentioned in the, in the instructions? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay, perfect. And then the neck, which has the oh right, the so back this of is the head, right, fits the back of the head around, and it's worth actually lining up. There's a marker for the centre, and it is worth popping Ooh. a pin in. So is that this bit we're about to do around here then? Yes, because this forms the whole back of the head. It's sort of minus a face. Right, got it. So I'm going to start at the back and just sew round. Oh, no, you aren't going to go right, because lots of the time when you do a curve like that, you do half from the middle and go out, and half will be going right the way around in one go on this one. Yes, because it's quite um, small. OK. And they mirror each other as well quite a bit, these two pieces. They do what? They mirror each... The curve oh, sort of okay, mirror. Oh, so, OK. Oh, so you only do that when it's like an armhole, like a one curve going into a different curve normally. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to make sure... Yeah, because they match, don't they? I'll have to bring the pedal the back. I always kick it halfway across the studio. What the, the other morning, the other day, when Janice was in, it must have been last weekend, she went to sew and the machine wouldn't work. And she was like, oh, John, I don't know what to do. There were three pedals under there. <laughs> She's pressing on the wrong... It wasn't her, it wasn't Janice's fault. She was pressing on the wrong pedal. Now, it's when um, we had a temporary floor manager in and he f was taking machines away, but forgetting they had plugs and they had feet attached to them. So you take away the machine and leave the feet and the, uh, the, the, the pedal. No. No. Yeah. So I'll check right. that's OK on the other side yeah. as well. And then the next job is the arms. It's easier before putting the face in that we get the arms into oh, okay. position. So these. You haven't made any arm shirts. Well, I have. Oh, right. <laughs> I'll go to this one. But in my stash of... Windowsill. Body parts. OK, so, so you've made two arms. Are you just going to show us how they go together? It's the same piece, so two together, one on top of the other. Oh, OK, identical, And yeah. just sew around. I'll leave sewing, but sew around. Yeah, it's only a sewing channel, don't worry. Oh, should I sew it? No, 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 I'm only joking. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to get into trouble now. The main thing with this is where to clip once we've done the yes. arm. So sew around. OK. And then clip into that, the wrist there on either side. Yeah. Just a straight clip, and there into the thumb. And then take V-shaped notches out. Around the fingers. Around the curve. Take one out of the thumb as well. OK. I mean, I can sew that if you want. No, 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 no. Because this is what you get. I think if you're making this, I think you'll understand the makings of that one, aren't you? So there's two of them, obviously op one opposite to each other. Now, the top's on a... Don't square the top off. No. Because you want them on, a, on an angle. On an angle, yeah. yes. OK. Um, and then I've stuffed them, leaving the top bit quite lightly stuffed, so about a thumb's width 
um, lightly stuffed, if not empty, and right. then I've basted the ends closed. So you've stuffed the, as much stuffing as you want in the arm, but pushed it down and left that end bit a bit flat. It just yes, it means it goes in a little, yeah. and, and they move around a little bit more. Okay. So I basted the end closed to keep those edges together and seal the stuffing in. Okay. And then where do they go then? And then these fit in the side here. So bring the sides of the body together, but sandwich the arm in place. And actually, you could have the arm going either way. Are there notches on the panel for them to go in? There should be, yes. Is that what, the, is that what they're for? That's the bottom. It joins in at the top of the seam, and then that's where it finishes. So on the pattern here, it joins in there. You can see you've got the notch there all the way up to the top on either side. And you're stitching it to the front or the back. Does it matter which one? It doesn't matter which one. Oh, you've got the, the notch on both of them anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's just the machine. It's because I don't fully let the machine stop and then I'm pressing the pedal again and it, yes. it complains because I don't think it thinks it's very safe. You've learned all these things since you got yours, haven't you? Yes. So there we go. That's okay. one arm in. Right. And I did catch the seam down here and it looks like it's going to pull. But actually, when I've turned it the right way out, so that seam allowance is caught there, but actually it's fine for the shoulder. Uh, just a quick question. If you put them in the other way round, would she be doing that? Yeah. So if you, if you wanted your ballet, ballerina to do this, just put... No, you couldn't do one up, one down, because you, then you'd have to have two exactly the same arms. So you've got... If you can either have them up like that or down like that, or if you make two identical ones, you can do that if you want to, like the arabesque. Well, okay. They're, you can use an arm on either side. Is that right? Yes. So it could go on that side or that side. So you could have one or oh, one Oh, yeah, but your thumb... Oh, no, yeah, you're right, you're right, right. I was thinking that it wouldn't be... You didn't say anything, Paul. It's nothing to do with you. Right, OK, sorry. OK, so... Yes, because you've got identical sides, yeah, sorry. I so... was thinking other side, change it, you know, like... Yeah, so the thumb would be pointing in a bit of an odd direction. Right, so I'm just going to push that into the seam. I have it overlapping a little bit more than the... Those raw edges overlapping a little yeah. bit more, just to know it's definitely there. Yeah, yeah. What's after the arms? Um, no, no, only because I've got to do bundles, because we're halfway face. through, so I've got to go and do bundles. So, face, so I'll I'm put the face in after the arms. OK, so while you do that arm, don't do anything else. OK. I'll go and do bundles, now come back and we'll do the face. OK. All right? Because then we got an email from Lynn about the face as well, haven't we? <clears throat> lilac blonde or lilac auburn? Like brunette, not auburn, sorry. So I've got lilac. You get the instructions. You get half a metre of nude, half a metre of lilac spot on, half a metre of lilac net, thread, two embroidery, and the felt, and the instructions, and the stuffing. £26.99. pence. And Joe thinks if you cut it carefully, you could get two out, which would be nice. But then she wouldn't be a leading lady if there were two of them. You'd have to make one a little bit different. Uh, or you can have the same thing, but with blonde hair. Now... Right, OK. A third of the stock has been checked out. £26.99. I want the original, the pink one. So this is, you can only have the original pink one with brown hair, with that... Uh, I keep saying auburn, what is it? Brunette. What's the difference between auburn and brunette? It's auburn red. <clears throat> I must have been auburn then. Brown. OK. Right, let's go back. <laughs> OK, uh, when we get to the face now, we'll do Lynn's email. So we'll do the face first. OK, so this, we've got the upper body. I'm going to pop the face in now. Right. And it starts, line up the centre of the dart with the top, but leave your seam allowance. So it starts a quarter of an inch in, right. six millimetres in, yeah. and sew around. And there are markers on the neck piece, so you know you're on track as you go. So one for the centre, and then for the ears and okay. the hair and things. So it makes so, it a little this, bit easier. So the, the hair section should finish just after the year starts, is that right? Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> to think about <laughs> that. Sorry, my bad <laughs> description. And it is fiddly, but it's not too bad. Oh, yeah. I should have mentioned before, actually, when you applique the hair on, trim the felt to the edge of the fabric, the edge of the cotton piece. Right. Right, was it bigger? A fraction. Oh, OK. Well, it's just the way you cut felt out. It often ends up that little bit bigger. I can't say I've ever worked with felt. Have you not? No. I think I pressed this dart open. I mumbled a bit then, sorry. What were you saying? I think I pressed this dart open. <laughs> Got loads and loads and loads of new buyers in today. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the sewing quarter family. So where are you going now then? What bit's that bit you say now? This is I'm um, just about here, right okay, under the chin. the chin. Oh yeah, because there's the dart. I could have just said under the chin instead of you know showing us modelling. Chin, yes. my, uh, yeah. We saw it though, so it was good. Visually. Well, as the ballet dancers modelled on you. Well, quite. So if you're a ballet dancer and you had to make a soft toy for the rest of your family, what would your husband be and your two children be? Oh, I don't know. Um, well, my youngest would have to have some sort of formal jacket on. Yes. So he'd be um, like somebody out of Wind in the Willows. Because yes. he's always on the move as well, isn't he, yes. little one? Yeah. So he could be a gerbil with a jacket on, maybe. Yes, and a monocle, maybe. Oh, yes! He also has a monocle. And how old is he? Seven? Seven. How does he know about monocles and things like that at seven? Where's that come from? He'll have seen it in a book or something like oh. that. Oh. So it's not, it's not by the opticians, it's just for effect? It, oh, it's absolutely for effect. Has he got a waistcoat with one, with one of those chains yet? No, he's got a thing about waistcoats. Jacket's fine, but you won't wear a waistcoat. Oh, how funny. Mm. So you can't, are you left off one of those that chains, that, that chains up to your... You know, yeah. your buttonhole, on the lapel where you have your buttonhole, you could put a chain through there and have the, po the what, pocket in the top pocket like that. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. Oh, I might send him one. Right, OK. So we've got the face on now, and now it's time for the tutu. Oh, hang on, you jump, I see, you've gone right the way round. Right the way round. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. And then I'm not going to close this bit just yet. No. But that's the upper body. Now, the tutu is two pieces... Of net. Of net. And you can... Fold them over and press them with a cool iron. Is this the only fine. place you use the nets? So you're going to have loads of your, your net left, aren't you? Yes, I mean, I cut two. That's what I had left over after I cut out oh. enough for two skirts. So that's two skirts and you've still got all of that left over as well. Can you see me? I like Betty Davis in now for you, Judge. <laughs> Can I give these a quick press? Oh, you're too smiling? Yeah, I think I... They're busy discussing upstairs who I'm looking like now. With the net? Yeah. They said I look like Hayley. <laughs> yeah, that's not very really nice. She's watching as well at home. No, she's got Joseph. She's like, because now her Joseph's already on holiday. Yes, that would make more sense. Yeah. But we, for some yeah, reason. No, no. But Joe's kids, Paul. Yeah, no, so they had Easter off. So they had the whole long weekend at Easter. So you're not even plugged in. Yeah. Oh, pfft. <laughs> it's me, I unplugged it before because I thought I'd finished. Oh, OK. Uh, so they had, like, Good Friday to Easter Monday off, then had to go back to school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now they've got two weeks off, have they? Yes. So what have you got planned? Nothing. <gasps> Not an children. awful lot at the minute, no. They're happy, Steen. A treat for them is not, ha not getting out of pyjamas all day. Oh. Well, they have much homework, do you think? They do have a bit. Oh, no. So when are their SATs exams? See, they don't... A cool iron. I've not checked the setting and you, I've melted. Oh, OK. Let's just discard. I'll just work with what... Oh, no. <laughs> it's all right, Chris can clean it. It's... Oh, no, Chris will be... Yeah, that's the second iron she's broken, now. <laughs> you know, if you so... break it, you pay for it. Well, they're not that's... even for sale. Um, but, yes. Yeah. A, a cool yes. iron, <laughs> otherwise that happens. Yeah, look. Because this is what I did with my Christmas shirts, wasn't it? You could do that if you're going to do... What are those people who, um, something... Steampunk? Yes. If you're going to make her into a steampunk one, you could put a bit of chain through that and make a... Make a feature of it. Yeah, you can get steampunk ballerinas. You have a look. 
Right. Right. Okay. So I'll turn that. Do you need it again later? I best not use it again. Uh, no, really. I think not. It's best. Right. So imagine there's two. God, it was hot. The, the <laughs> mat's boiling. You must have that one really hot. Right. I just switched it on. Um, layer the two folded pieces so that the folds are together. Yes. And sew along with a nice wide stitch, the widest it will do. It's five. There used to be a lady called Marjorie, who was known as the Tutu Queen, and she used to make all of the tutus for the Royal Ballet, the Festival Ballet, and that's all she made was tutus. So when you, and the tutu is only this bit, only the net bit at the bottom. So I would make the bodices. Jane and I would make all the bodices. And yes. she would make the tutus. Then right at the end, we'd have to meet up and we'd have, to, we'd have a whole day where she would come to Jane's workroom and we'd sit and sew our bodices to her to tutus. Because, you know, they're all made on a pair of knickers. A real tutu is, isn't just a bit of net that goes like that on a real bodice. It's like a big pair of pants that fit With onto the... the lady. And then you do really, really, really short, like, like imagine that like half of that goes around the leg and then the next layer up is a little bit longer and the next layer up is a little bit longer and the next layer up until you get... And that's how you get that when you make it traditional, you get, so they stand like that, they don't just flop down or anything. And then you cut them, you dag all the edges as to what the design's supposed to be afterwards. It's a really big, wow. big job. Uh, morning, Joe and John. Wonderful tutorial. Advice, please. Best way to sew the head to the body from June in Bridgend. Um, when we get to this point, sewing the head to the body, um, which one is it? This one. Pin in the centre so it lines up, so that the head's not looking one way or the other, it's looking face on. Right. Um, and yes, just pin it and take it nice and easy around that curve. But they mirror each other, so it's not too difficult a curve. And all the instructions the are written and photographed, and all, they've all got notches on and darts on now, and all, they're all marked, aren't they now? They always did have. <laughs> oh, just no, no, I saw there was one lady on, um, only one lady on Facebook said she, it, there was a dart, but it wasn't mentioned that you had to sew. Oh, the that dart. was the elephant pattern. Oh, yeah. Now, you're rouging as you're going. You're not putting a gathering stitch, you know. Uh, no, actually, I wasn't rouging oh. as I was going. It just is happening. No, 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 but that's how, you, that's how we used to do it on the tutus. That's how you, you just rouches as you go along. And you oh, get, is there a proper and you stitch get into, You get into a... Marjorie knew exactly how much she'd have to cut like this to fit in. Because so, obviously all the different tutus are different sizes and different dancers. And she'd go... Oh, yeah, can make th that'll be a 12 inch when it's finished. And then she'd just go, she'd be chatting, she'd be like, <laughs> smacking, like, <laughs> putting it. <laughs> don't condone smoking and baking tutus at the same time. And then it'd come out and be the per, because she'd done it all her life. That's all yeah. she'd ever done. That was her career. She's gorgeous, Marjorie. She's not with us anymore, sadly. Anyway. So I left the threads longer at one end, popped a knot in. You can do, see, because I've done this with you before, I should, two stitches. Two lines of stitching, and then it makes it easier when Are you the gather unknotted it? end. I gather it because I want it to a specific length. Right. So this Marjorie, one. Send it to Marjorie. She send it. I should, yeah. So I'll get rid of this one. This is one I've already done, and it has the four layers, none right. of which were melted. Okay. So right, right, let's just go back. So the folded ends were the ones that you've gathered. Yes. The folded edges, the ones you've gathered. And then I've gathered it to her the waist, size. Her I waist want. size. So it depends, does it depend how much stuffing you put in? Oh, no, because the outside will still always be the same. Yep. So I'll just check this is the right size. Yeah. If you leave a bit extra at one end, if it's a bit longer, then you just gather it, leave it the unknotted threads yeah. end. You just gather it to fit at the end. Also, the good thing about or net is it. you don't have to hem net. So if you wanted to make a tutu a little bit shorter, you could just trim a little bit off if you want. If you wanted to make a... Ba because uh, that's a tutu, this is a tutu length, right? If you wanted to make ballerina lengths, you know the soft ones that go down to just below their knee, you could make them long. You could make it longer, and cut, go down to the knee, so you make it ballerina length. Like um, I, don't, I can't think which ballet we did them in, but um, I made this short just so it's a little bit easier. Oh no, no. Later also, on, that's a traditional tutu. It, that's exactly what I would have done. But if you wanted to, if you've got enough to make two, you could make. So you could make her the prima ballerina. And then you can make the chorus girl have a longer skirt on, and she could be in the background doing the do 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 that bit. <laughs> that bit. Do, 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 do. No, you don't twirl in that bit because that's the, when you're going do 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 do. Do you remember that bit? Do, 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 do. <laughs> like that. Oh, I'm good, you see. And also these wide stitches, they're easy to remove, but if you make them within the seam allowance, yes, they can just stay. And now I'm basting the skirt onto the body, the bottom of the body. 
Uh, now, I've got a question from Lynn. It might not be... Uh, I'll just get do it now, Lynn, so in case we'll run out of time and forget about it. I think it's about the face, isn't it, Lynn's? Uh, here we go. Lynn's got a question. Hello, John and Joe and everyone at the same quarter. I was wondering if Joe could please give some tips on how to embroider the face on the ballerina, please, especially how to get the eyes nice and neat and round. This part scares me, as I don't want it to look scary. Many thanks, Lynn in Suffolk. OK. Um, I use water erasable pens for everything always right. but they're brilliant for doing faces like this because when you embroider the face you only really want to have one go at it yes um so, so if you draw look close the face... at the eyes oh there you go um so you've drawn the circle for the eyes is it a french knot or are they, are they stitches going cross and cross cross their stitches going across okay it's just that little bit too big that eye for a french knot yeah. or a colonial knot so, so when... you draw a circle. Say that's your circle. I know this. I know, Lynn. I know this is much bigger. So if you've drawn your circle of your eye like that, do you then go across, 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 across? Like I that go up and, up and down. Oh, up, I find on. it a little bit easier. All right, up, yeah. down, up, down, up, down. But you start there with a little stitch, and you're slightly bit. Obviously, this is beyond. This is like biscuit size. Embroider the circle. So draw it on, but then embroider the circle. The outline and then just fill them in oh, with longer stitches. Oh, so embroider all around the outside, then just fill it in with stitches the right size. Perfect. But imagine this is finished and it's got legs. I would fill the head only and leave the body empty. Yeah. And then you can get in behind. The, the back of the head will be closed at this point. Yes. But you can thread your needle and take it through the opening in the back with a knot on the end. And that way the knot is held inside the head. But stuff the head. So it's nice and taut. Yeah, we're just answering the question. Now we'll carry on with the making. Uh, they're all saying that says they prefer the lilac one to the pink one. I like the lilac one, actually. I really like this tutu. Is it a sugar plum fairy, then, if it's in oh, lilac? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, brand new kit today, remember? Brand new kit day. Oh, Jeanette loves my dancing. Thank you. That's all those years at ballet school, Jeanette, you see. That's a joke. Yeah, a tutu. Right, OK, so ne what's next? This is the, well, the knickers part, really. <laughs> Well, you said that they had... No, they, are called, they, they had a special name, actually. No, no, no. On a tutu, they were like... They had a really strange name. It wasn't knickers, but they had a very strange name. But anyway. And this joins... The curved edge fits around here. So I'm going to sew this oh, on okay, now. Yeah. And it will sandwich the skirt in between. Oh, yes. And this front bit forms the bottom of the... Oh, yes. And then the They're big pants, aren't they? They are quite big pants, yes. yes. They're like, uh, what's that film uh, with Rini Zegwele? Oh, Bridget Joe, they are... Rini Zegwele. <laughs> <laughs> like famous actress, Rini Zegwele. <laughs> Rene... What was her name? Bridget Jones. Yeah, it's like Rini, Rene Zegwele. Rene Zegwele. Oh, anyway, <laughs> I interviewed her once. She was lovely. Anyway, um... Right, carry on. OK, so I'm going to stitch this on now. I was going to tell you that in, um, when I first started in films, I'm sure it's very different now with digital and everything like that, but they used to film on film. Oh, my, change your microphone, tell me. And when you used to have, they used to have to change the film, you know, like in the old days when you used to have a camera and you had to wind it on and take the film out and take the film to boots, right? Um, and you had to do it in a darkened room, right? Other shops are available to get you film. Uh, Max Spielman's, for instance. Anyway, on set, <laughs> they have these things that are, I won't say what they're called, but their, their nickname is something to do with knickers. And it's literally the cameraman puts his hands inside gloves like this, inside a bag, and he can change the whole reels and everything like that in complete darkness, so nothing gets ruined. Isn't that right, Michael? Or do you do digital now? He's got no idea what I'm talking about. Oh. This might not work out because... Why not? It's rouged my fabric, the body part has, so... You did what? It's, it's gathered oh, the okay. body section, so I'm trying to make it fit. I would redo and make sure. Oh, no, it does, actually. So if you'd not said anything... I know, I'd have got Nobody would have known. No, you wouldn't, Paul. You wouldn't have known, because you wouldn't see. You wouldn't be able to see it. Little Paul says that he's going to come down one day and do a demonstration show, be the expert one day, because he's learned so much in the year. That out. So there we go. So that, See, it has, it's gathered. Um, just snap the stitching that rouges yeah. the skirt. There we go. So this is the main part of the body. Right. 
And then, at this point, if right, we just... Right, so I'm being very indelicate here. I'm just showing you the finished pants here. So this is the seam that uh, you, Joe's just sewn there, but you've still got all the bits dangling down there, haven't you? So what's next, then? Well, the skirt, at this point, if we just finished... The skirt may easily flip up. Yes. So if you just give it a gentle press, this seam here, if it goes upwards like that, will naturally position the skirt downwards. Yeah. But if it went that way, it really would look like a traditional, very old traditional Russian tutu, it would, wouldn't it, it? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so, so it's up to you. If you don't want to do that bit, you don't have to do that bit. This is optional, but press yes. the seam upwards and then top stitch along oh, the Oh, OK, so that'll keep I your... Think it's <laughs> Can you see on this one? She's got she's yes. top stitched around there just to hold the seam allowance upwards so that the oh, skirt... But I also think it looks quite nice because it's almost finished her bodice off as well, hasn't it, there? Yeah, so I'll leave that step out, yeah. but that okay. would be the next step there. OK. And then I'll just make sure I'm getting this correct. Right, this, the bottom now... Her the, bottom. Well, this is her bottom as well, yeah. yes. The bottom of the body. Sew together this back section up to just about the skirt. OK, so where are we on yours? Are we at the, cent the centre-back seam now? I won't show you that bit. The centre-back seam going up the back of her pants. Which well, just looks a bit indelicate, doesn't it? It does look a bit... Um... Well, yeah, you can sew it in the privacy of your own home, but you don't want me going... pointing at it on telly, do you? So I'll stop it about there. So I've sewn it together a little bit, and then I'm going to reposition it. Oh, it's like doing a box bottom. It is. Well, on a bag. It's sugar box. A sugar... What do they call them? Sugar bag. Sugar box but bottom bag. I don't know. I don't know. So finger press We're this seam well today, open. We? And bring that together. There's a, a small flat edge. Yeah. Here. I'll get the pattern piece. Yeah. Bit. If you wouldn't mind. Can find it. There we go. This small, very flat section here. It's yeah. only small. Coming in. Sorry, there. I they go, the they go. It's just a very flat section. Small bit there. That's the center line. So line that up. That's with the not seam. a dart because it's going outwards. Isn't it's it? not a dart. And then just stitch that together. And it's only about oh, a so you're just stitching seam. across the bottom of the crotch line. There, yes. So you? it'll just be the in between line. the legs. The gusset line. Yes, and it will create two legs. Leg openings either yeah. side. Yeah. So it is a really small yeah. seam. So you're just creating the crutch line on the pant, look, the gusset line on the pant. And then these two, these two are the legs opening on the side there. And the legs, we'll pop the legs in now. The legs, this is the front leg. And to complete it, it just has a really small bit of shoe on the end. This is the back leg. All right. Which is shorter and has a longer bit, so that she's on a toe. Yes, 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 so it's on point. So that's the front of the toe then. So, OK. So complete the leg pieces by joining these on and yeah. then just... So oh, that's the wrong way around. But sew them together yeah. to complete the leg. Yeah, just go that way. Yeah, turn the right way around. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... And make two legs and do them exactly the same as you did with the arms. Stuff them, but leave the top half inch unstuffed. Yes. A good okay. thumbs with... And then I'll have to work out how do I do this properly. No, you need, don't need to... It pays to think about it and make sure I want the leg... This is this side leg. I want yes. this short bit of shoe at the front. So I'm going to pop them inside into this opening. And they sort of, when you fit them in, they cross almost. So this leg goes this way because yes. of the angle. Yeah. So fit it into that opening and pin it in position. It does take a bit of manoeuvring to get uh, it into the I've right got, position. There's a picture here from Sean. My ballet troupe that Joe has seen before, no idea why Lamb Chop is in. <laughs> The lake. Why lamb chop is in the lineup? I think that's supposed to say, isn't it? Late be up though. The lineup. Oh, look at those gorgeous ballerinas! I love the rosy cheeks. Aren't they fab? I don't know why lamb chops there though. Is there a ballet with it? There's no ballet with lamb chop in it. No. Oh, that's fabulous. When, my, um, when, when um, we left school, my friend um, Linda had been a, was a trained ballet dancer. 
And I went to see her once, and they all lived in Earl's Court. Well, they didn't all live in Earl's Court. They were all living in Earl's Court. And then she, she was so having such a love. We were only young, we were only, she was only 19, having just a brilliant time. There we go. Okay. So I've pinned that in position, just so the ed edge of the leg just sticks out ever so slightly. And I'll check on the other side. Hang on, they the, both together. Uh, it's only one leg. Oh, in. right, it just looked quite wide. That was, oh, it is quite wide. It is quite wide, yeah. Got it. So it moves right across the body, so yeah. they're, they're almost crossed at this yeah. point when they go in. OK. Uh, I love hearing your stories, John. You should write a book, The Exploits or the Lives and Times of John Scott TV Presenter Extraordinaire. Oh, Christine, thank you. I did my one-man show in the West End, didn't I? And um, there was a lawyer in the audience, and he went, uh, you're lucky nobody sued you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you only get the, the tip snippet of the stories here. If you think about my time in Hollywood, I couldn't mention about all the people I've worked with and what goes on. So I've checked. I've got the, an equal seam allowance on both sides. Yeah. And you could yeah. go over that again. And then I'm turning it the right way out and checking. And then suddenly the leg sits properly then when you put it in, doesn't it? It, it is. I mean, those angles are a bit tricky to negotiate when you sew the leg in. Yes. But it does mean that they hang in the right position. Yeah. And it closes up the bottom of the body. Yeah. So I'll sew this one in. What time is it? Oh, it's 11.51. Are we doing okay for time? Four minutes, Joe. At least we got to the legs. That was the main bit, wasn't it, today? Should I put the other leg in or should I talk about the face? Talk about, talk about what happens after you've put the leg in. So you, so you right. put the second leg in. The second leg in and then I'll close the back of the <coughs> body, leaving it open so that the skirt's in between. All right, so you haven't put any stuffing in at this point at all? No stuffing at this point. Just right. stitched it. Close the back to about there and left this, this open in the back of the body to stuff it. The, because it doesn't need hemming, the skirt, when you get to it, you can just hand close with the skirt. So stitch, hand stitch up to the bottom of the skirt and then just right, carry on okay, above so it. It doesn't, it actually, if you look on the back of this one, the skirt doesn't join. Okay. But you don't notice it. Um, I'm a bit now, I'm a bit concerned because normally what you do is you stuff the head and do the face, and then don't you stuff the body so that you can get your needle in inside? Yes, yeah, so I'd stuff the head, draw the face on when, right. when it was stuffed, um, embroider the face with the back still open. So the head, so the head is stuffed, but none of the rest of the body is stuffed. None of the rest of the body is. And the back yeah. of the head is still open, is it? Or no, you must no, have sewn some of, of it. Yeah. Closed. Yeah. So the head's all closed. Yes. Yeah. Embroider the face on. Keep, often it helps, it's better with something like the bunny but keep something inside so you can keep the face taut as you embroider something. It just stops the fabric gathering up. You need and those, like, dark, you won't remember, these are the darning mushrooms. Do you remember darning mushrooms? Oh, no, but about that... What they were, they were, like, shaped like that, and then the top had wood over the top like that, and so you'd put it inside your sock or whatever you were darning, so it stretched over, and then you'd darn... I'm really showing my age now. Then you darn across the top like that, and then you take the wooden mushroom, and the mushrooms are in I different think sizes. I think my nana had some of those, and I just didn't know what they were for. Yeah. Maybe you should order some of those for your toys. That would be really good for doing faces. Well, I asked for a clapper last week, the week before, and they've done nothing about that. Have they not? No. Um, also, on the legs, she has stitching. So stitch following the back of the shoe, stitch right across. Right. So you like stitch, that. Where have you, where's that? Then cross to where the top of the, the back of, the, of the, the shoe is. So at the same level on the front as the back of the shoe. Yeah. And then just oh. embroider some crosses, like her shoes are laced up. OK. How does that bit stay on in real life? Um, we don't need real life. <laughs> Gravity doesn't matter with things like no. this. And is there anything else we need to know, then? And the bun. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's what I was playing with earlier, wasn't it? I'll get some thread quickly. It's just a running stitch around the outside. Do what? Just a running stitch around oh, by the outside hand. to gather it up. Yeah. Sometimes I use the technique for noses as well and things. I've got one minute to do your bun. One minute. Is yours real or is yours one you clip on? Mine's real, that's oh, all okay. yeah, that's all my own hair. There was there was somebody on the what was I watching on the telly the other day? And they're interviewing this lady. She was in a restaurant where they eat, everything's made of asparagus. <laughs> it must have been Escape to the Country, that's all I watch. 
and she had, you know, those hair pieces that are on a band and you just clip them on your hair like this. And she was grey at the front here, but she'd obviously got the colour that she used to be. So she had all these, like, Cleo Lane hair like this, completely different colour to her. It'd be like me putting a, a ginger one on like that. <laughs> right, OK, so you run the stitches round the edge. Running stitch and then gather it up so yeah. it makes a bowl. Fill with stuffing and yeah. then fold the raw edges inside and then secure it into a nice... Yes. And then how do you stitch it on? And it's just hand stitched in position at the top of the hair. Just go around. The first circle of stitches to sort of hold it in position. The second one, nice and secure to really fix it in place so it won't come out. Brilliant. Whew. Okay. Well, we got there. We did pretty much all of... When are you back in? Next Friday, I think. Oh. I don't know if I'm in next Friday. I don't know. What, do you know what you're doing yet? Uh, yes but not off the top of my head right okay, now. OK, not to worry. Oh, it was lovely <laughs> to see you anyway. Uh, oh, thank thank you. you very much, and we'll see you next Friday. Yeah. Yeah, next Friday. Uh, oh, um, oh, oh. Little Paul's making a funny noise. Brunette. The brand new one. How many are there, then? Lots of people got this in their basket. Lots of you got to remember, it's not yours until you check out. So, brand new today, the lilac one. So, you get what you get is you get the half a meter of nude, half a meter of the spot on, half a meter of the net, two embroidery threads, one sewing thread, the brown, no, not brown, brunette felt, and the instructions, and the toy stuffing. £26.99. Now, you will be able to make two out of that. If you want blonde, now, you've got to be very quick if you want your blonde one. Oops. Blondes have more fun, that's what they say. £26.99. pence. Paul just said he's never been a blonde. I can't imagine him as a blonde, can you? I used to be blonde as well, peroxide blonde. OK. Um, now, you know how on the, on the website they're all saying Paul's really good looking, right? He looks really good looking with his grey hair, doesn't he? He used to have a blonde afro, apparently. In the 70s. Anyway, 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 come on, come on, this is the blonde one. Have we done that blonde one? Right, let's move on to the pink one, the uh, traditional one. Not traditional, original one. Original. Here we go, 26 99 So that's what brunette, I've only got the pink one uh, in brunette, in the brunette variation. There it is. You get the instructions, the two embroidery threads, the sewing thread. The stuffing, the, the, what's that stuff called at the bottom there? Felt. Uh, you've got half a metre of net, half a metre of nude, half a metre of pink spot on. 26.99. Right, tomorrow's menu. If you say, did you say 45 seconds? Yeah, tomorrow's menu. Remember, spend and save carries on until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Right, it's me tomorrow. So at 8 o'clock, I've got Quilty Go Showcase. That's me on my own. Then at 9 o'clock... Oh, a nursery decor. I wonder what that is for Janice Hobbs. 10 o'clock fabric show. They've got those the wrong way around. Thing. 11 o'clock is the Colorado cabin. Uh, quilt as you go. Uh, so that's me tomorrow. I'm here until Monday. <laughs> Available for pantomime, the summer season. <laughs> yes. And everything. Uh, oh, I've got to go. It's been one of those days. Please make sure you check out your basket. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. We have a very special deal for you today. For one day only, we'll be offering you a huge spend and save discount. When you spend £50, you will receive £5 off. When you spend £75, you'll receive £7 off. And when you spend over £100, you'll get an amazing £15 off. So, whether you need to add some more fabulous fabric to your stash or just want to stock up on scissors and thread, make sure you take advantage of this incredible deal while it lasts. But hurry, this deal is only valid for 24 hours and will end at 8 a.m. on the 7th of April. For full terms and conditions, please visit the Sewing Quarter website. Happy shopping!